Freedom 35555 five, five. Dude, start the podcast. Wow. Recording Gordon? Recording Gordon. All right, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Freedom 35ers, Cardano NFT podcast, episode 30, technically episode 31 for all the OGs out there. My name is Tommy. I go by T-O-M-M-Y. My name is TJ. I go by Lazy T. And I am the other Tom. I go by Lavish Bear. Tonight, number two. Nice (laughs) to meet you. Number two. (laughs) I'm number one. Why, what's the number two? Nice to meet you, number one. I'm number two. I'm just second Tom. The other Tom, number two. Second's the best. Ah, I got you. Okay. I like the, I like the, I just instantly reminds me of Austin Powers. Right away. It's the num- yeah, number two. Going for. <laughs> <laughs> um, we got TJ over here who is, does that say down there? Period? It's a dot because Zoom doesn't let you hide names anymore. I know. What is that feature? That's so too there? much pressure. I know. It's a psych- I'm, gonna be a, I'm just going to so hide just it with the borders. You just want to be a, a period. <laughs> 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 dot, dot, dot. Uh, <laughs> hey, what was this week? Oh, Disco Mania. What's uh, that to do di- with? Disco Mania. I don't know. Maybe we'll get into that. You got a big Disco Flowers fan over here, TJ. The boys is trying to dance a little bit this week. Um, <laughs> oh, we'll get into that here in a little bit. Um, but no, we're back. Episode 31, technically, for all OGs out there. Um, dude, we're as many episodes as you guys are old now. I know, we're catching your age, dude. Pretty soon here, we're about to, yeah. <laughs> eclipse that. That's pretty soon. We're coming up here soon, and um, the 35 is approaching night and very, very oh, soon. Damn, actually. we're going to have to probably figure something out for that. Like, I know. Let that pass. She has yeah. a lot of pressure now. Confetti or something. Yeah, what are we doing or something? Fire in the background. Like 350. So we've been we've been talking way too much lately. This has been going on for way too long, guys. We did not plan this. Um yeah, this is yeah. this this is we don't we don't know what to do anymore. There's just there's so much going on. Um, Maybe it's like one week break too. I know. It's this it, it, one yes, week. Yes, if, yeah, if you count all the actual videos we've done, I don't know how many like minus the clips, like we've we've probably put out at least like I don't know, 60, 70 of these things. I know it's been at least 30 episodes. Oh, okay. 31, 31 for the OG though <laughs> uh well all right guys well we could do this all night but we were on a short week and tom decided to leave us this week a so a couple days vacation yeah so we're yeah. gonna get a little early recording in here yeah so gordon's recording early on a monday um so if there's outdated news in this podcast blame tom <laughs> you know? Definitely, you can find me at uh they just add me at lazy t in discord <laughs> underscore about it <laughs> oh <laughs> uh, yeah dude where are you going on us this week you're just leaving us like, going to north gotta... carolina a couple days hang out like pd you know, pablo hopefully not take your shirt off wave around your head like a look at nfts for like four days just around your head okay. <laughs> like a helicopter <laughs> oh <laughs> god throw back to that song pd pablo ah, such a good song it's all right, I, always think, I always think of drumline though when i would hear that song do you i don't know i just yeah. think of the mtv like music video him and like baby blue Maybe that's what he's wearing. I don't even know. That's just my head right now. Um, but all right. Well, shout out to Tom for having that in my head. Shout out to Tom. All right. Well, anyway, yeah, we're on a Monday. So <laughs> we uh, we were, I don't know. There's a lot that can happen in four days. So luckily, we'll have a live stream if you're listening to this. And maybe we did good. Maybe we didn't. <laughs> maybe it was great last night. <laughs> we might have killed it. I don't know. I love doing the future recording. <laughs> when we're talking about... Uh, no, it was so great. We killed it. We, we killed it last night, Tommy. Good job, awesome. Tommy and TJ. You guys held it down. Tom, well, I don't know where you were. It was cool having Aiden in his honor last night. It was great. <laughs> we I'll missed you last night. <laughs> <I'll> <laughs> be, no, no, you'll see me in the chat. I was in the chat the whole time. You don't remember? Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, I know you had a little sneaky name. That's, yeah. That is a sneaky name. Um, what, oh, yeah. I mean, oh, yeah, 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 we'll definitely catch him out. See if you can find Tom in a chat. Um, but you won't because it's already happened. Um, all right. I don't like that. Uh, I hate this like, future past recording. Time we try to do that. It also doesn't help when we have guests on too. And then they're like, we're trying to like get the days right for the context of listening on a Friday, but they're not quite getting that part. So they're just like, yeah. So, you know, tomorrow it's going to happen. It's like, no, it's three, three days ago. It happened already. Like I listened to this a week ago. What yeah. are you guys talking about? We got, like, four videos since then. By the way, guys, not you guys, the audience, guys, there are timestamps. So if you want to skip past this bullshit, then you can just click on exactly what you want to look at. <laughs> and we're going to timestamp right here so that you get a new one right now. 
Just kidding, guys. We don't. We're not going to timestamp there. Make sure you like and subscribe, though. <laughs> that thumbs up. Timestamp. Timestamp. <laughs> we will. <laughs> we will timestamp this little clip right here. Like, subscribe. Catch you on the next one. Um, no. So we got a busy week. Even though Tom's going to be gone on us, he's leaving. It's still uh, full it's, up. I know. The craziest thing about this week is that we've had so much going on, even from the past one. Um, look at. I guess what did we have last week? We had. Chronic. We had some wins though. I think my, besides Chronic, though, we had some flip wins that three of us did, which was cool to to have. We did have some flip wins. Um, one big thing we, we transitioned right into, which we're talking right now, um, was Christy and Chronic. We finally had them on um, Daily Chronicle. Shout out to both of them. Uh, they held it down and uh, bared with us for probably our longest podcast yet. I think officially. longest recording too. It was like a five hour session, huh? Dude, I'm really pretty long. sure we took like literally a, yeah sixth of our day at least. I didn't even like hang out and talk to you guys. I literally just left the Zoom and went right to bed. I just walked I right to the room and to sleep. It, it was. I mean we knew that was gonna be a long one just because right like we could have we could have went on we literally talked for an hour before we even started the podcast and then after that i'm pretty sure it was in like at least a solid 30 minutes after that too oh easy plus like a good like we took a little you know break in the middle and still then had like another 30 minute conversation before we were able to get going again because yeah it was just non-stop well, easy to fun. talk to them for sure yeah. oh yeah they're they're super fun they're always they're always giving you lots of information and they're it's always fun to go back and forth with them too so um there's a long time coming with them and appreciate uh both of them jumping onto the show last week it was a lot of fun um tj what else did we get to do last week we uh, tom too tom was over on the moon most of the night but uh our live stream our third one um seems that audio is the enemy yeah, they say Cobb's on the enemy. Our audio was the enemy last week. Um, <laughs> for anybody listening in the beginning of that, <laughs> I love when we do the starting soon and then you just hear us in the background. Are we live? Are we can they live? hear us right now? I think, wait, the countdown's going. They can hear us. Yeah, Shut yeah, up, guys. Right. Okay. Shh. I just stopped talking and you just kept asking like are we live and I just didn't want to answer because I knew they could hear us well the problem was is even worse was that my microphone was actually muted on the stream so you guys were hearing me in the zoom but you were (laughs) on stream um so it's just the two of you guys answering questions that didn't make they're all out of sequence and context um but yeah i think we have the audio issues figured out maybe i don't know maybe we'll get surprised we'll have some other issue this week you know the craziest part about all this is that you guys would have already seen that we had audio issues um on our live stream because this is Friday and we dropped out yesterday. <laughs> you you so. know what the issues were last night, you know? Yeah. And we're sorry. I mean, the biggest yeah. issue was, I'm sorry. sorry. We all know that. So well, you, can, you can say that ahead of time. Damn, yeah. I got to make you some sort of box here, Tommy. What the hell I are you know. guys going to broadcast in? Well, we'll broadcast in a twofer. I'll hide one of the boxes. And then when... Z, uh, well, what does you need a cutout of you? Can you what just do you mean? Nice why, why, are we, why are we I debating this little, when we've already figured this out? Mine. Yeah, we did figure already, it out. We've already figured this out. It was a great idea. I love that we did that. <laughs> and it worked out phenomenally. Or it did. Terribly. Tom, you killed, you crushed that. I'm, I don't know how we or did really that. bad. Yeah. I love the pose you did too. Yeah. <laughs> did we? Future Tom. Future Tom. Um, <laughs> that should be the name tonight. Number two. Um, but yeah, no, the live streams are always fun, man. I love uh just like the the chillness of this. I'm pretty sure like at some point the the camera shenanigans is like a timestamp that we always do now. At least maybe that'll always be that. Um, it's just well, like, I, I also I like when Tom and I both stepped away for a moment. You're like, now I'm just by myself talking to you guys. I'm alone. Yeah. <laughs> a little, little fireside chat with Tommy. Yeah. Moment. It's just like, all right, guys, appreciate the 12 of you in here. That are whole actually, there was a point in that stream where literally the thing just broke down. It was like buffering, and then like the viewers, we had like our peak at that time, and then it just straight. Oh, as soon as it hit like 19, it just it was it gone. broke. It froze. YouTube, like, yeah, yeah they, yeah, they just destroyed like the, the yeah, they, we had too much of like weird people. Yeah, it was we, all three of us watching. We walked away from a heater, dude. Um, but no, the fun part about this, like, I love the little live stream. This is where it gets fun. Like after like an hour into these things, it's just like a free for all. Like at that point, like if you're listening, it's just us, like me and TJ doing the high five. I forgot we were high five. I forgot uh, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot we high <laughs> oh, oh, dumb. I did that. So dumb. Um, <laughs> but no, dude, it was it was dope uh, to get a chance to do those. And then also we uh, what we we caught the whale. We caught a live whale on stream for the Havoc World. Uh, yeah, yeah that, that was right. fun i really enjoyed that that was fun that, that was like dude ha- we, Havoc we should World do that more often though like dip like peek into people's like wallets of certain projects i don't know 
where that was oh the live whale watch like i don't even know what prompted we were just like somebody was like yeah go check out habit world we were on open scene of tea and then saw somebody was just like eating up the floor sniping everything and then yeah even right here you see it was at 91 and by the end of it the guy ended at uh, 100 and then funny enough somebody from the stream the next day was like hey i found that whale and it was because there was some guy what what are the chances of that guy actually posting a twitter post somebody from our stream seeing us and then catching that guy and then tagging us in the back that's amazing that. It was it was a wild concept. I was yeah. actually just checking that floor. It's actually 107. So it went up a little bit since that uh, yeah. since the whale bought some. Yeah, we had like our our ADA projects under a hundred or a hundred under a hundred ADA. What would you recommend uh, like jumping into or taking some things to look at? And obviously not financial advice. Um, but Havoc World was just under a hundred ADA at the time, and then this dude ate up the floor to <laughs> broke it over. Better right up to like over hundred, yeah. Yeah, so you're my motherfucker. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we dropped a few projects. There were some good ones on there. I think what, what were our doings? We had um, uh, it was Veggie Mates, which we we're we're going to talk about here. Happy we Hoppers. Happy Hoppers, yeah. And then uh, Havoc World. Oh well, yeah, Havoc World. See this right? Yep. Yeah, those are all some good ones. Um, so that was that was a good, those are some good little projects, and that was fun to do those kind of things too. I've always just like, I mean, at the time, I don't know, maybe we did it already. I don't know. Yeah, the topics last night we had were great. I really I, the appreciate suspense guys. is killing me. I don't even know what we're talking about. You know, <laughs> we're just guessing at this point. Um, it's going to confuse so many people that when we do this. Confusing myself, I can't keep up with it. Right? Yeah, but I mean, like technically, you know, we're. The live streams are something I think we're going to continue up to on that Thursday schedule um, every Thursday, 9 p.m. Eastern uh, to like 11 p.m. I mean, I guess we could go longer if we wanted to, but we'll never get sleep. Be a little cranky. My God, yeah. Um, yeah, that was fun, man. Um, I'm always, always fun to do these things. Um, and then what else did we want to jump? I guess we could jump right into this, you know, because we got a quick episode we got to get through tonight. Tom's like on a plane already or something, or he's in the mountains, and he's in the mountains watching us. So I'm sitting uh-huh. on the front porch drinking his coffee right now, just uh, just relaxing, yeah, enjoying the weather, man. Yeah. That's oh, I, I, yeah. I'm that. probably checking in on this. You know, yeah. I watched the the live stream last night. It was fantastic. Oh, Tom just came my, to the front. My favorite character was off this week, though. Kind of sucked like, because of that, but I mean, those other guys can hold it together. <laughs> uh, yeah, episode, right. you know, it'll be on the next episode. Yeah. <laughs> so um one thing i wanted a quick shout out before we jump into the regular podcast is that i didn't get a chance to tweet this yet but just a shout out to anybody in there right now we got some new merch damn that's terrible i'm gonna jump right into the screen a little heartbreak that was oh, terrible is that chair you guys hear that chair can you guys just rewind this for guys. a few seconds and turn up the volume of tommy's chair there's a okay. donation fund for tommy's chair specifically in this chat donate for his chair nothing needs to retire you hear it it's, it's oh my god it's, it's on its last it's, bowl bro i've been putting on some seating hours over there um yeah dude i got it real quick i got the heartbreak i finally got the t-shirt in for these guys um the dope little logo. i actually really do i really like the logo yeah look at the since i've heard that name like i haven't yeah. looked into them in a long time um i think that, like the merch and the airdrop just ha- i don't know about the airdrop yet um but the merch came in and i've seen a bunch of other people's stuff coming in as well so um i do like like what they have i think you had to mint maybe five of these things i was just gonna ask how many you had to mint to get the shirt i think it was five and then if you minted 10 you had the hoodie um so i did five of them um did you just buy a shirt if you only had one no 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 i had i minted five no, 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 I'm saying, oh, I, I remember, I'm reading the description, it says merch store and airdrop info soon. So I'm assuming you can just buy a shirt if you want a shirt. Maybe if they've already launched it, I haven't looked back into it, um, but I just wanted to shout them out. So don't make me look stupid, TJ. I'm trying um, to, just, just trying to make them. Grilling you enough. with those hard questions right now. I, I don't know. Well, shout out to these guys. Um, they're, I think a cinnamon bun over there is too. Shout out to those guys. And then uh, I know these guys are younger too, Dabosky, um, Phantom, and, and then KDiv even over there too. So shout out to those guys. Um, the Real Talk crew. Yeah, well, maybe we'll uh, we'll get to have one of those members on a little bit later into the podcast too. Oh, that'd talk. be really fun to have one of those guys. Real talk, yeah. dog. Um, guys, one of the reasons that my name uh, this week is the Disco Mania, Tom. You asked about that, and I know you guys just love this subject over here. Did they finally um, ever reveal it, or what? Guys, I got exposed this weekend, um, <laughs> and the big big draw for this was, um, yo, I had no idea what the hell I was about to get. And it was definitely like a box of chocolates, dude. Life life was definitely a box of chocolates and definitely was not expecting what I got this week. Um, But we got to showcase it off over here. Um, Do we though? Do we have to? We we got to showcase it off, right? Just kidding. Um, I got this. So I got the mechanism number three. It runs reveal. Like we've talked about 900 times on this podcast. Um, But it finally went this week. And showcase your edit too, though. Your edit was really good. 
Yeah, well, it got me inspired, right? Like, so the big thing about this, right? You can see the little disco ball, the little dancers in the background. Well, all, you know, the, all this stuff going on inside it's of it. It's a little weird, that one. That it's def- it's nice definitely surprise. out there. Yeah. It's definitely weird. Um, but it was like a strange weird. The more I watched it, it was like, it got me more like, I just started noticing like all the little details. It like hypnotizes it. you. Oh, it made me appreciate it more than once. Like when you first like see it, it's just like, I don't know where to focus. There's so much going on um, inside the space, but it was, it was dope to kind of see, but the audio track was in here. You had the stills, little guys. And then obviously uh, every, all the metadata got updated. Um, and then same thing with number four, number four revealed as well. Um, and this one was a little different, but I love the animation on this one. Um, as far as like the, this black skeleton like just like screaming at you it's like a yeah, it's like a startling effect for sure it, yeah, yeah. I, I think we got the audio here for it if you can hear it so it's definitely you literally cool. just made someone whoever's listening to this in the park jump yeah there's there like <laughs> late night walking down the hallway damn this um, came no. a little early too tommy i was a little surprised we were kind of like hoping to get you home so you could do a live stream and then i went on twitter and Tommy attack. just exposed himself to everyone <laughs> I, know. I got so exposed early on um but i really did love like the detail on this uh i mean number four i, I mean initially i think i was drawn to number four just for like the visual portion of I mean, it it's a when skull I, that's just kind of like yeah yeah like it's very sick so, the yeah. detail though my god what a zoom in on oh, that man, yeah that like he ridiculous it, it is crazy looking at it, what he does um it's just yeah, it's, the, oh man that's so good the, the detail it, it's it's really cool the, the texture only, of the skull itself yeah it really exactly. is like textured and and done well it doesn't just kind of look like unfinished like rendered 3d bullshit. But even like the hair look at the hair yeah, like each exactly. hair follicle and strain is just like like impressive. on another level Oh, yeah, wow. look at that. Oh wow, that's actually pretty crazy. I never, I didn't, I haven't zoomed in on this this far yet. Like, yeah, man, he takes his time. I, you can definitely tell that. Um, but it was cool to see like these two. These were definitely in a definitely different from the first ones. Obviously, they're all different, but um, definitely in a different style. These two. And the interesting thing about four for me was that this one it had the audio track for like the the scream, but did not have like a music track to it where the other ones did. Um, in, in mine, mine had a shorter music track than the other ones, but, um, definitely different these, these ones around. Um, but afterwards, like TJ said earlier, I did get inspired, um, to sharpen up a little bit of my editing skills. Cause I was just like, you know what, it, like it had like a little disco, like groovy thing to it. Um, I had, I had to go ahead and try to mess around it and Tom, like I was hoping to make you proud over here on some of this stuff, but I had to showcase this out just for everybody checking these out. Um, it was definitely just different. It's like, and I remember while listening to Ren, you can hear it in the background here. It's just like, like little guy just bouncing his little head. But even Twitter is like kind of like I was gonna say lagging it a little bit right now by Zoom. Oh yeah, oh, well, man, if you're listening to this on Spotify, it seems to be like pretty jazzy, but you know, you'll have to go to Tommy's Twitter to see the video. Or the overexposed Twitter too, didn't they tweet it? They did, yeah. Or were they? But, yeah, so they tweeted. It, they did. Oh yeah. Yeah, didn't overexpose tweet it themselves. Yes. Just, like, so, you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they they actually gave me like the full like edit of this stuff right here. Um yeah. they actually gave me like the full yeah thing right here. So I a well, funny story about that was so you you'll see this one over here, which I'll get to in a second. But this guy, um, I don't know how to pronounce his name, it's just Nat it's, it looks like Nads. Like that's, that's the way I'm reading it right now. Nahads. Nahads or Nats, one of the two. Um sorry, man, if I'm pronouncing that wrong. But mm. hit me up. And uh, like DJ smirking, he's still five years old. <laughs> <laughs> um, and the guy hit me up though. He's like, dude, I really so loved your bitch. edit. <laughs> he's like, I really loved your edit, man. Um, is there any way? How did you do that? I was just like, yeah, you know, I, you know, I did it in this program, whatever. And he's like, oh, could you do something for me? And I was just like, nah, uh, maybe. Uh, let me play around with it. And I started like, I had no no intention, but I ended up actually going and doing the whole edit for his as well, just because this one I think was my favorite one out of the first two. Um, and I ended up doing another video edit and the music on this one was really crazy, uh, too. If you have, if you've seen any of these where I don't know what Twitter's going to do to it. It's the marshmallow guy. It was better to see it like this. And so instead of like the widescreen, um, but it was very like fun and it was fun just to get creative with the actual edit themselves. Um, I tell them I have a whole new respect for you for doing some of this editing work, like trying to time it even to like the beat where it just like hits each page. Like it, that's, it's a lot of work, man. And I'm sure you did a great job. Lighting of the audio. Here's a video. <laughs> Unfortunately, if you're watching this right now on YouTube, Zoom is just, uh, 
just kind of shitting all over it. It catches up about halfway through. Does it? Oh, yeah. all right. Well, on my screen, it looks perfect, guys. So. Oh, no, it's, sure. it's a I'm little, sorry. like, lag, but it still looks good. The laser effect is my favorite part for this one. Um, but, yeah, it was definitely different. Um, I'll shut it down over here so we don't keep getting that in the background. Um, but, yeah, with these overexposed mechanisms that revealed, so three and four have now gone. Um, mine, dude, uh, it's still a curveball to me a little bit as far as like how I feel like overall how I feel, but I really like it. And the more that I've got a chance to play with it, especially for that edit, um, definitely not what I was expecting though, to be honest with you guys. Um, but it's unique in its own sense. And I have no idea now how this thing, how these things are going to continue to go on. Like, you know, for the next, like all the rest of these reveals, like, are they going to get crazier? Or is it like, Tom, you were talking about it when we were saying like, are these going to progressively get just like, did Ren just pick the, the 10 of them and just say, Hey, numbers one through 10 guys. I don't know how to assign these. They're all going to be individually rank one or whatever you want to call them. Um, and I'm just going to throw my, throw a random order out and you're going to get what you get. There's no means or methods. I don't know that. how you would choose. Like, obviously maybe he, as an artist, you'd have like, okay, these three are the best ones. This one's my favorite. Then like the other seven, like they're like, you'd love them all. They're just like, Oh, I, put in a ton of work and these are my one-on-ones I, I couldn't like pick one over the other they're just like the top seven i don't know what to like rank these yeah it's definitely i don't know how you do oh, it, it looks either. cool seeing them like this so seeing the um like the yeah just the, the, the scene of like t dot tools yeah. like version of them yeah mm -hmm. it's it's just different so fun fact too which you guys are seeing here i actually talked to um jeff four or five jeff in the discord about this today as you see how mine's ranked four versus the other ones that are all rank one the metadata didn't get fully updated and that's why if you're pulling the full screen here i don't know if maybe tom's editing this or not maybe he's not um but there is disco mania that's the review thing for my name so where it says none on the item group item style and item variation that's supposed to get fixed so they're updating that so mine still stays at rank one over there and, uh, and that makes uh, sense just that's it. why it's fine like it is yeah, yeah leave me number four it's well, good it's good enough. Four is good. Four. yeah that's wrong not bad yeah, yeah. You know, um, I mean, you're on the podium, but it's not bad. Yeah, it's like, hey, bro, you, you're up there. We, we recognize you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but that's where the Disco Mania name came in tonight. So if anybody was wondering what that was. I don't think they were. They weren't wondering. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. So the other big thing about all this is that on Friday this week, or our day of the podcast, if you're listening right now, is the black paper release for them. Um, you actually have the future of the project uh they're kind of turning that over to everybody you know their version of the white paper um and they're going to go ahead and they announce like topic lists um that are going to get addressed in there because a lot of people are asking well what's the next step for this like where are you going to go it's art and art based project you know what else can you guys do um and they're kind of been teasing some stuff for like the genesis holders like if you hold one of the thousand uh, genesis perks there's going to be additional stuff for them the um, new updates and mechanism developments they're teasing auctions which some exciting partnership details not really sure where they're going with that and then some events activities and then even a season two sneak peek um so and then and they did mention inside the discord today that season two is nowhere near right any anytime soon it's just That's uh good. they just okay. they wanted to make sure that yeah they're they're gonna yeah. obviously treat the first collection first of course i mean they spent so much time or on the first season we're just really getting to see them and enjoy them you know i mean i'm not really fully yeah. we haven't seen them all seen the yet. Whole collection yeah. exactly so it's gonna be interesting to see what the actual black paper is because i know a lot of people had high hopes for this stuff and and to be fair to them they're still sitting like a 550 floor um, which is still, if you, even if you minted at 150 in the public, you're still over, you know, like a, almost a three X where you're really yeah. shitty at. So, I mean, what, what project really has held that kind of maintained floor without any other hype outside the main initial launch. So you need definitely got people with eyes on this right now and eagerly awaiting what this is going to do. And this is going to kind of, I'd say in the, in the short term, make or break what they got going on. Even um, 550 is like a not a bad entry point at all. Not financial advice, but I'm just saying, like for cool. the quality of art and what you get a be part of, it's really not a bad price. I feel yeah. like it's at that price now because it got a little bit, you know, up higher than you know your normal kind of just buy in, you know, 80, 90, 150. Um, that it's like everyone's kind of watching that's not in too because it's one of those things. Like I know we're watching TJ because the price is at that set spot where. It, if it does go down or something, you know, then you're like, oh, okay, I'm so glad I didn't put 500 data into that. But at the same time, it's like, is it like, I'm just waiting for it to be like floors 1900 or something. And it's just like, 
I, I knew I should have done it. Like I yeah, said, yeah. all we were talking about how good it was. It was expensive. Like 508 is not, you know, nothing. Um, but like, I knew, like, I just sat there and watched it go to like 22. Uh, so now I'm really like paying attention to see what's going to happen with it. Um, especially when this black paper comes out. And then I had a snipe on last week before this black paper came out. TJ, didn't you grab one? I did grab one. Yeah. I got which one. one. Which one did you get, man? Uh, what's your they... serial number, bro? <laughs> One second. He doesn't, even, he doesn't even have his wallet up, man. <laughs> I got my I got my wallet up at all times when we're running. Um, oh, wow. 13 is a little bit weird. That one psychs me out a little bit. The Which one's one, 13? Like, oh, with the eyes, like the like horse the, one. Right the here. horse skeleton, and then it's got a skeleton head with, with a, the, just the eyes, eyes popping poking. out of it. 1512. 1512, huh? Check out T's over here. Okay, I like that. That's Tom, nice. Tom, Tom's gonna have to get creative with his editing though, because usually the right side gets cut off over here. So no, no, don't do see a full it. screen for this. You're crazy. Uh, I think it was only four ninety nine. I bought it for. That's not that, bad. Dog. That was one of the higher ranks. I love the green. I like player. the body. I like the goblin. The knight a lot. The knight. Yeah, yeah. The body yeah. armor. The yeah. goblin box and shit. So. Yeah, that one looks dope. I love that a lot. Well, shout out to you, dude. You got it. You over. You're overexposed, man. I'm in that one little chat, but not the the good chat yet. The dark room, yeah, you got it. Dark dark room requires a Genesis uh, thing, <laughs> which I know they're heavily. I think a lot of people are heavily leaning towards those Genesis things just because it does like get you. They're really curious. There's so many left too, too right? Yeah, oh, well, there's only a thousand of them. Yeah, out so of the four thousand, like yeah. Well, yeah. it's almost like the twenty five hundred club. It's like that exclusive chat that like people collab yeah. like, oh, what are you going to mint today? Or what are you going to get? So you know, you want to be a part of that and be part of that crew that gets in on some of these mints just for some profits and stuff yeah well i think uh well i guess we'll we'll see what happens so if it's dropping today as you're listening to the podcast black paper keep an eye on overexposed um and that floor price too man you never know where where they're going to go from here obviously i'm hoping it's going up but um i don't know what i'm going to do with this i I love it i i it's it's a one-on-one and first like it feels weird to hold something like oh i know tj tj you need need to put us on your shoulder Yep. Yeah. <laughs> it's just i have no clue yet man we'll see well obviously we'll see what happens too with these new reveals i mean more power to you i would have sold it already before the reveal personally but yeah but if you would have sold it what price would you sold it for a realistic one that would have hopefully sold honestly like maybe like 35 to 40k like i think it probably good no, chance of it selling that price sold for like number 10 sold for 26 26. Right, so thirty five forty. I think so. Right. Le- a, so th- to actually get a sale out of, it. I can list it for eighty eight thousand. Like they have it, right? But I don't, it's not actually getting a sale yet. And maybe you will eventually. But something to actually get a sale from it, I think maybe thirty five forty would have. Yeah, and it, I think a lot of it too rides on that black paper of the hype. Like, kind right. of feels like it feels better now to that because you have like the anticipation of what they're releasing. Like, God forbid something in there that is underwhelming when they do drop that, that may shoot a value on this in a whole different direction. Uh, I'm not yeah. saying it will, but that's what I'm saying. Just, that's what I'm paying attention for. Like, it's one of those things people could hold until black paper, and then you see it come out, and then people just kind of like. Oh, I'm going to sell now, you know, or like you see a little bit of a run in the price because it's about to come out and then people start selling out. So it kind of drops floor a little bit, or it could be one of those things like, you know, we've seen with the clay announcements and stuff where black paper comes out. And it's like that paper came out, just went up 800, eight a floor, like up, like above what it was at. Or like um, pixels or yeah, stuff like exactly, that. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Or just their papers come out. And it's just like, why didn't I not buy before then? So I don't know. I, I'm kind of just watching now. Cause I just need to know like, like what I missed out on. Um, yeah. <laughs> It's all about like the team portion of this though. I do, I do know that like Jeff and there is, he's just like, look, we got so much stuff planned for this stuff. And obviously talk is, you know, until you guys can back it up, that's one thing, but um, they definitely do have like a very community, like, and just well thought out uh, group group over there that, you know, obviously the talent is there. You can see it here with Ren. Um, so I'm curious, like you said, what that'll be on here on this Friday. So hopefully, like I said, I will, um, I don't know, hopefully it'll, be, it'll benefit this, this one right here and, Maybe one day we'll be able to sell. I don't know what the hell I'm doing yet, though. I'll tell you that. <laughs> um, sell it. Sell it. Um, well, speaking of stuff that I'm not selling right now is Yummy Universe. You're not um, going to sell that? I'm very surprised that. Well, I, I, I can't. My Naru's, dude, they're off to the playground. They're locked up. Uh, staked, yeah. Yep. Yep, they are officially staked, guys. We have Yummy Universe. Um, you guys thought we weren't going to talk about Yummy Universe on the podcast? <laughs> When do we not talk about Yummy Universe, right? <laughs> um, dude, Yummy Universe, though, and Mikasi in one episode. I don't know, man. For two? Find out later in the episode. Um, 
No, Yummy Universe is online right now, and their staking website uh, went live on the 15th this Sunday. And officially, you can lock up your yummies, put them into the smart contracts, send them away to the playground, or lock them up in jail, however you want to interpret <laughs> that. Um, and uh, you can start earning yummy. And we talked about it last week with uh, Chronic and Chrissy under there about the actual staking mechanism, what the you know some of the tokenomic stuff, and what also. Um, that they have big partnerships with Sunday Swap, Min Swap. Um, they're uh, partnered with Trading Tent, CNFT Predator, um, CNFT Jungle. Um, now, even now, Coin Market Cap. They're listed over there. They got a listing set up over on Coin Market Cap, which is pretty crazy. But I didn't see that up there. That's sick. I did not even see that. Which don't get me wrong, That's it's not really anything. cool. That it's, is awesome. Pretty cool. It is wild to see. I know obviously it is. I mean, you can list anything on here. Yeah, yeah. It's exciting it's though. Like a specified like Cardano only one. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's a much bigger, um, a broader one. It, it's wild to see because this could be like the early days. It could be the Axie Infinity. It could be, you know, one of those play to earn gaming coins. It could be, who knows? But all I know is that so far, Yummy is, is showing up to the table on everything that they've, you know, they've put out. Their older announcements, everything that they've done has been very top, uh, top, top tier, top quality, very smooth launch. Um, no issues with them. But the staking website, um, I thought it was really, you know, it was definitely, it was crazy to see the Discord that day because everybody was jumping in like, I'm staking, I'm staking. Like the website's down, and the devs would come in and be like, check the website now, and it's like, okay, the website's working again. And it's just there was so much traffic, and it was so cool to see everybody jumping into it. Um, it was definitely different though. To, um, if, I don't know how, how did you guys feel to actually lock up the Naru and not have it have it come out of your wallet? It was for me that was scary. Uh, I was fine with it though because it's literally like I did, haven't touched my 10k at all. I mean, I tried to sell my spring, not gonna lie, but I was just kind of curious as to see if I could get it. But I pulled it off, and then it, it was just my 10k was just sitting in my wallet the whole time since I minted, minted it. So it basically, was locked up anyway. But th- now I'm earning something by not touching it, which is. Uh, it's awesome. Yeah. Well, it put it adds a whole new like layer. Like you get, you really do need to trust like the team over there, right? Like it's in their smart contract now. You don't have it's it a anymore. Big step. Oh, it was yeah, an easy well, decision though. That that yeah. the team. I mean, I mean, for us, I think I would say because we got to interview and talk to them, right? So we have a different kind of relationship. Outlook. Yeah, now look exactly on it because we got to speak with them. So I, it was it was a no brainer for me. I was like, oh, I'll just send it right over there. I know it won't be a problem. Right. Yeah, I, I can, uh, but I can understand, like, especially people who own, you know, stake stuff and, or not stake stuff, but own the hardware wallets and stuff like that, where they, they never take anything out of there and let it go unless they have full control. So um, definitely it's an interesting way to go about doing it. But I know I trust in the team enough that I, I know they're going to handle what they're doing. I don't, the, I'm not worried about the security of, of these things, I guess. But the thing is, too, like, you don't have to stake it. They're not saying you have to do this. It's really yeah. is a, an option. You can do it or you not do it, whatever the case may be. No one's forcing someone. Well, and there's a shorter it. time window, too. So you can kind exactly. of try it out if you'd like to and see, you know, what it's like, if it's worth a return for you, as opposed to just going all in for like the full period of seven weeks. Yeah, well, that's that's the thing, too, is that you have the option between three, five and seven weeks to stake these things. And obviously, the more the longer you stake them, the more yummy token you're earning. So um, when you got over to the website, eventually here, I got my wallet connected. You could go to the staking portion. Subtle um, flex. No, definitely. I'm just, you know, showcasing off what it is. I staked all mine. I didn't <laughs> I didn't put any back and I put them all for the seven week period. Um, so July 3rd, if you staked on day one, will be your date that you'll get the payout. All your yummy uh, will go back into the wallet that it was uh, staked from. And then all the yummy token with it will actually uh, go back with you as well. Actually, and I wanted it, to ask, I don't know if you might know this or not. After the seven weeks, can I restake it again? Yeah, you can yeah. do it to go right back yeah. into Just the Just go right back in the stake. Okay, so I want to make sure. Well, the cool, the craziest thing too, because a lot of people were asking in pool.pm, they were seeing like yummy token, like being minted onto the blockchain. Um, and people had questions like, why is yummy getting minted over here today? Like, what are you doing? Why are you printing? Like, why are you putting more of that out? And it was actually every time that someone staked it, depending on how much they, the time period they put, as soon as they staked it, locked it in a smart contract, it actually minted the yummy um, that their staking is going to earn that. Right, so away, it, it, right away, right off the yeah. bat, so that automatically ha- doesn't have to mint on, you know, on staking day. Otherwise, can you imagine all the transactions that we'd have to go through to remint all that yummy? Um, so that was actually a real cool, like, actually interesting way to go about doing that. It was well thought out, I thought. Oh, yeah. 
So um, go, go for this. It's, it's super simple. You can send your Naru's. You can go right to the staking portion of this. Um, again, they have the dark mode over there, so we don't blind TJ. I was going to say so thank you for that. And almost um, tried to do it. Yep. And then again, you I'm can, ready. So, I don't have any left in there, but you can basically see that you can stake between three, five and seven weeks. And obviously it goes up and it'll tell you your potential gummy earnings. And then if you do have everything there, you can just select your Naru's and do up to 10 at one time. Um, and then right, sign the transaction, send them away. Um, and then dude, they're Super just hanging easy. out at the playground. So far work. So far worked out. No <laughs> have fun kids. Yeah, Let me know. Like, <laughs> I just, I saw so many good memes of people. It's like my hard work and yummy, just making me, uh, you know, just making some yummy today. Or just like one yummy, please. They always do that little, uh, like little gif over there. Or not gif, a uh, little meme. Or It'll just be like a big that. test. So seven days, you know what I mean? Hopefully That's... everyone's not like screaming and panicking in the discord. Just like <laughs> my yummy went to someone else's wallet. So oh it'll be a, a big test here. This is a, a big step for them. And I'm glad so far everything's been like nice and smooth and it's, yeah. Cool, seeing like how much you know rewards will get right away like that actually like the, like you said to that coin, coin market cap stuff um seeing that like hey so it's sick. actually a, a reasonable way for me to sell out of yummy if that's my goal here to just get as much as i can and then wait till it gets to a price and sell it it's not like with when we were doing that pancake swap bullshit and it's like, well, what do you got to do? It's like, well, you can only log on on the 15th, like during a full moon. And yeah. uh, you got to like convert it to 15 other coins first. And then you got to send it back to one exchange and get washed. And it was like a whole thing. Like you get like do like three different exchanges. It's easy, right? Just to get it to like into like, you know, US dollar, whereas opposed to this where you can just trade right out. Yeah, it, I don't know. It's it's different. It's a different method, I guess, uh, of going about doing these like staking stuff. Because um, I know some of them did the claim method with drip drops, and they did uh, what's the other one? There's another way that some of these guys are doing some that just too. Do airdrops. Some yeah, do, like, well, yeah, the airdrop. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like for not sure. through drip drop though, but just like they handle it themselves almost. Um. <clears throat> drip drops, drip, drip, drip. But um, um, I do like the the, the staking. I know some people don't like it being locked in like that. Like I know like the dead pixel and stuff, you can just like snag out whenever you want, right? Is it dead pixel? You can, um, but you get a penalty yeah. for saying you get penalties getting for out of it. Of it. I don't yeah. know. It just seems like you're dedicated in, you know what I mean? What's like, unless you really I like, yank it out. Like, I just think that you, that's part of why you're, you know, that's part of the risk sometimes you put in to do this. And that's what the part of the reward is getting that much back. So, well, here's the other curveball to this that I, I think I, someone said, someone in the discord tried to reassure me that, that, oh, they'll be fine on the staking period. But if you chose the full seven weeks, there still is a summer, summer seasonal in a room that's happening this summer. Um, and I, I guess the official like staking, uh, time for these uh like, was right now all the spring narus are in season so they're earning 4x rewards that you can kind of see on my guys right now they're earning quite a bit right now which they normally wouldn't earn this so this is 4x when when then that time happens which i believe is like when summer ends official time i don't know if it's june 20th or june 21st right. something like yeah, that yeah, I think so. So then they go back down to their normal price so if you staked past that staking date they already got it worked out so once it hits that it'll dumb it back down so all the whatever the estimated rewards are that's what you're going to get with that calculation already in mind but curious enough is that what if they do do that summer sale in the middle of that staking period and you have no 10ks in there because you can't get to them and you have no more spoopies or whatever i feel like they're going to be a little strategic about that and not do it that i think without the announcement of people it may piss them off um, if they didn't kind of give them a fair warning of like, Hey guys, you know, just keep in mind that if you are looking to burn, like make sure you choose your staking options wisely without it giving any kind of forewarning. Um, and someone in the discord did say, yeah, they, you guys should be good. Um, but I could, can you imagine that plot twist right there? Just like, you're still gonna, it doesn't matter how many times they announce it ahead of time, how much like notice or how much they explain it. There's still going to be people that when the main comes are going to be like, Oh, what the fuck? I can't take any of my Naru's out. Why don't you have it so you can take them out? Why is it mid? Like right now, I'm in the middle of staking. People are just not going to pay. I mean, also, sometimes you just can't. You miss those announcements. You come back, like when you're like, I didn't realize that there was an announcement. Uh, I was just checking all my staking and now I can't get anything out. So it's going to happen. You can't make everyone happy. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm just, I just, as long as everything's working fine and smoothly and they're not having issues there, I think there's really no real complaints you can have. Uh, I don't know. Like you said, what everybody's going to complain. And uh, when, when can we race these things? That's the real question. Yeah, right. When can I race? Um, a shout out to Yummy Universe. And again, um, you know, we're obviously big fans over here. Um, I think that's without saying at this point. 
Um, <laughs> I love that we get like a stigma of like, oh, you guys all, you talk about yummy, you talk about yummy. It's like, hell yeah, we talk about yummy. Of course, talk about yummy. Why wouldn't we talk about projects that we love and we're involved with? I don't understand that. Why we get yeah. hate? Uh, I don't care. Project as well. Yo, they hate us because they ain't us. You know? It's our anus? <laughs> okay, <I> was... <laughs> <laughs> they hate us because they ain't us. Um, yeah, well, and get me off like that. Um, but <laughs> speaking of uh, new projects that speaking um, of anus, oh, okay, new projects, got it. What? <laughs> what? Uh, I thought I was just fucking with you. I was just gonna freeze on. <laughs> um, another project that uh, just happened That's today on a sad. Monday, where we caught some actual good news on a Monday over here, is the paths from Pavia. We caught good news. You did. Yeah, I mean, look at this. He's using this we word again a lot. I know he's exactly. this this bastard. I'm just cutting right to the chase. He has one plot, right? One, and he hey, got a damn me, dude. I've already been overexposed. I don't I care. Think, uh, I, I think it, I think they kind of. I don't know. Is you know based on nothing except for just anecdotes of people we know that got these. Uh, it seems like if you were a long term holder of at least that one piece and one wallet or something, they kind of reward you back. Because oh, I know. Uh, I, I know you're Tommy. going somewhere longer with Well, that. it seems like they reward you back. Like, well, you, 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 you only have that one plot left, but you held that one, right? And we got a couple, we got another buddy that has just one plot, but he's never moved it, never sold it or anything. And he got rewarded here. We know a couple of people that have gotten some uh, some pretty rare drops or some lucky drops on this. Um, and just kind of just holding, like not being people that flipped or sold. They got it like on one of the mints and it just sat in the wallet. Oh, I mean, funny enough, as man, I, I never I don't hold any of my original Pavi except for the one that I bought back on secondary. So yeah, it broke that theory for you right there. That's what I'm saying, um, though. But you you held it since before the last sense. mint happened. It was a second mint when you did that one. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. second mint. Yeah, so exactly. You've had it yeah, forever, though. It's just has been sitting in that wallet. You know what I mean? I don't know, dude. But um, maybe that could. That's a good theory. I, I like that. I hope maybe that's a thing. Oh, there's some weight towards it. That makes more sense. They, yeah, they like you know lean towards the people that have held this whole time instead of flipping back and forth like nonstop. Cool. The craziest part about this is that there's only six thousand of these things, and there's a hundred thousand Pavia land plots that are out there. Um, and obviously, there's not a hundred thousand different holders. So. But I mean, the chances of you actually getting one, that's why these guys, we, uh, I mean, I, I, I was, we, it's we bullshit. You I were really not, surprised. I wasn't surprised. You surprised how not me. I, I mean, I was, I thought I didn't have any chance of this, but um, these things that got airdropped to these, there's, you know, obviously there's not many of these things. Um, and to give you a little rarity chart um, and just <laughs> interesting little word though, TJ, TJ, always hating. I always hate over here. Why am I um, I, <laughs> I know, I'm just fucking with you. Uh, but you get this mech compatible uh, little thing right here, which is very interesting. Um, and that only two of them was it's a, a shell. It's a table. Uh, the listeners that aren't able to see the visual, it's not a thing. It's a table that's showing whether certain ones are compatible. A rarity that's, table. Yeah. <laughs> Well, this little and, thing right here. Yeah, so this little thingy on top I of this. I always thingy. forget, you know, like, hey, we're a podcast, right? You listen to us on the audio only format, you know. Make sure you go watch. Some, us someone's Twitter. saying, "Thank you, Tom. God, he always does this." It's either that or um, our wine listeners out there are just not. There's like, I hate you guys. Why do you even do a show? I just want to listen. Well, to on it. Braille.com, we have a uh, version yeah. of the field. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, uh, we're gonna get canceled. Um, uh, so back up to that though, that table. Um, <laughs> so I didn't realize. So you did say that uh, Bobby Jones is the one that doesn't, but Shell also does not go on a Mac. Yeah, that's a little egg one. Uh, we'll show this and here in a second. Um, and then yeah, this is like, also not going to be the only twelve they're going to have correct. more assets for in game. Uh, also, correct. So yeah. so yeah, if you don't have one of these six thousand, yeah, they're going to continue to do these. But the interesting stuff about this stuff is that they do like you know they mentioned that we are Cardano NFTs. You don't buy, you catch. We will be found all over the Pavia metaverse. More info coming soon. So paths, not pets. Um, that's mm. interesting. Um, that these things are going to. I remember looking at like a was a teaser like a little box and it's like an in-game thing where you see one of these things just hanging out in the little crate right here um so it's interesting that these things are now yeah you have to go find more of these things out in the open um but the mech compatible uh little piece in that little table um that actually they gave you a reason for that being a mech uh, over here is this little uh what is this thing it looks it looks like shrek um it, it's like a or a metroid kind of like bodysuit but yeah it's basically like a like i said a mech over here a buzz lighter suit 
something like that right but it's, it's funny how it looks like but it says leaked pavia alpha over here um so you have like i don't know i guess the, all the mechs obviously the ones that are compatible that are gonna have some sort of like suit like this that you're gonna be able to walk around in the pavia metaverse well look at the controller at the top right it has like y z x i think that's like the access oh, that's in blender yeah i think yeah. Blender. There. disregard that for all the viewers and listeners um <laughs> but i'm just curious like well, so <laughs> yeah. um yeah like you're gonna catch these so I'm curious then how the mech comes into play because obviously you're that's not like maybe your character like are you gonna put are them in catching the, them? Are you gonna like like find them in those little airdrop boxes and then you put them in your mech and then they fight like you can have little like oh. like soccer robots, rock and robots or yeah, something exactly now we're talking. Well, I don't I don't know how that's, that's gonna thinking. work. I have no idea how that's gonna work. It's just interesting because they gave you this like little snapshot and obviously these were all airdrop the first time around, but so here's all shell. that's gotta hatch yeah. into something, right? And they yeah. remind me shell. of those one thing from uh, the Benjamin's group. What is that called? Uh, the, the, the fun, fun plastic fun, fun yeah. plastic. Fun plastic. Yeah. yeah. Well the Pavi Jones is the one. So obviously the Alfonso, I think is the name of it. Um that one is like there's only 50 of those out of the six thousand, bro. There was an all-time high Alfonso? scale. Uh the little gold pig one right here, uh, the little okay. crown. Okay. That one, somebody I saw somebody buy one of these earlier for like two, is either two thousand or four thousand, and then one just sold recently at before it's recording on Monday, so obviously it may go up. But even since you've listened, a twelve thousand ADA, twelve thousand five hundred ADA. Oh wow! <laughs> Throw the extra five on. Um, Throw the extra five hundred on there. Cover those um, fees. I got five on it. Um, oh, copyrighted. Uh, there we go. That's it. Yeah. We're done. And episode's over. And we're done. Um, but this also the little Lucia one too. It's like the little horns, uh, the red one right here. This also sold recently. I saw, I want to say it was, at least I saw a 2,500, uh, one that sold earlier, but I want to say it went up to like 5,000, uh, too, for this one. Um, and these are, these things are selling crazy. The volume on them already has been insane. Um, even in the short amount of time they've been out, they weren't even verified for a second. When I first got them in there, I was like, I was just reloading and reloading. And then they got verified over on JPG and, and that was the floor sitting at 265. These are all airdrop too. So he's basically free ADA for anybody out there. Um, and then T- and Tommy you got that the ghost one's a Davy Jones, right? With the peg leg. The, yeah, the Bobby like, Jones is the yeah, ghost. Bobby Jones, Bobby Jones. I like that one a lot. Actually. <laughs> baby <laughs> Jones. I said Davy. Baby Jones. Uh, I think it's a Davy Jones. I was laughing. Uh, I really like uh, I really like how that one looks. Uh, I like the pig. Why is he a flubber? The, um, with the uh the 3d glasses on that one looks solid do you, get, do you guys remember that like dinosaur show show from like the dinosaur. 90s when we were little you know what I'm talking about? that's what that purple land before time no dinosaurs dinosaurs just called dinosaurs that's what that yeah. purple one reminds me of like with it's just kind of like yeah true halfway open eyes like just kind of like yeah i could see that I don't know, for it looks sure. like one of those but uh i do like that i do I actually kind of like these quite a bit some are a little goofy looking but um the 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 pyro one and the pig i'm really a big fan of the yeah, big, all the eyes I like a lot too. I like the mouth style on that one. They they didn't go with those. Um, this I so I ended up getting airdropped the Rex. This one was I like that Rex. Eyes. I like that one. Um, it reminds me of like almost like the dog, like the dog of the, of the group, uh, with his little tongue hanging out. Um, but I ended up just so I flipped this, did a little two ninety nine ADA, flipped it, and then I bought my Pavi Jones for three thirty three. Baby Jones. I, no, it's Pavi Jones, dude. Come on. Um, and then this floor rose up to like 750 when I was like getting, when I was coming home from work and then I, it's corrected right now to 500, but it's just crazy to see, um, the amount of volume that people were buying these things at like really quickly too. Cause even if I'm scrolling right now and this is on the Monday, so who knows what, what it'll be there. 196,000 ADA already. Um, Breaking news. Dun, 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 the floor tanked to 50. No, I'm and Tommy is broke. No, <laughs> um, well, who knows? Maybe I need to make a little zippy flip or maybe I hold on. Um, there's only 6,000 of them. You think about it, though, and like perspective of all of the land plots and you can find more of these things. I can imagine that's why the floor for these things is sitting the way it is. Yeah. Uh, it's just interesting where it's like you don't buy them, you catch them. So the only way to buy them right now currently obviously is on secondary. So I don't. there won't be any mints of these things. Um, and I wonder if it's a one-time airdrop for the first people. And now that these are out there in the wild, the rest of those will have to get found. Um, throughout time so i don't know what the plan is for this i need a hit of j crypto um and i wonder if that'll decrease the value of the pets that people already hold if your people are catching them at, at that point i don't know i think they'll add in new ones you know what i mean they may um keep these ones somewhat rare like not expand necessarily exactly on these um i just it's we've been kind of saying this it's a it's a nice needed sneak from pavia kind of keep them going 
Mm -hmm. It's not a whole lot of like big update news on where they're actually at as far as their metaverse goes, but it, it's something here to kind of get our attention again and get people looking into something, it. Something to chew on a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cause it, it kind of helps them that they have that mystery where everyone's kind of like, these are out of nowhere. Like, what are these going to be for? Um, so that does help. It's good that they did this. I think they've, they've needed to kind of come out with something here to get people kind of engaged again. Uh, it's real nice to see. And I think they did a good job with these. So um, definitely yeah. interested to see where they take this. What's also interesting too, outside of that, is the obviously we we when we covered these guys, ten thousand uh, followers. That's so on. crazy, yeah. seventy seven thousand right now. But they're, they're they're just getting more and more followers from us. I love it. I know, right? Um, but they did release <laughs> like we're going to start showing you some of our metaverse assets. So they just dropped this one right here. Um, that, that happened today. I'm curious to see what the world like the stuff that they're building inside the world. Cause like you said that we've been waiting for an update for Pavia and I know they've been working on a lot of different things. It's just, uh, I just want to see the world. Oh, it's curious. Cause it's every like, wonder what it is in relation to the world. And they, they dropped this little, uh, I don't even know how big is an estate. That's actually pretty crazy. Oh, that's wow. sick. I didn't realize that. Or I sold one of these. Um, <laughs> that sucks. Wait, um, it says, I still don't quite, it's so it's they're, they're trying to, so I was reading the description, the plaza in relation to the real world, like how big a plaza is in Pavia. This is what they're talking about. How big is it? So Times Square oh, is as big plaza, as a, okay. yeah, that, it, 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 no, it's a plaza in relation to Pavia, a Times so, Square. I mean, that's pretty the, big. That's huge. So that's going to be like, obviously in the video game world. I mean, that's actually, yeah, it's huge, right? So that first big Pavia P over there is going to be the equivalent of that, huh? Times Square. That's actually interesting. Um, that's like the God was that the boss planet when they were like comparing the real world assets to but they were stuff. comparing like prices <laughs> and stuff. Utility, like, future what's utility. the utility of New York City? <laughs> no, <I'm>... <laughs> <laughs> Hell of a market. I don't know if this is the utility of anything, but at least we know the size. Um, so that's that's cool to see. But yeah, I know Pavi has been doing all kinds of stuff. They've been partnering on up. They've been getting mentioned in a bunch of new different news articles. Um, it, there is obviously a lot behind the scenes, and the, the team is like started to come out it's just it's very interesting to see what they're building in such a short amount of time and uh like even said these little uh these are a pca or the pavia compatible assets as they call them uh, what you can build like on different plots with different things those are cool i like that a lot it looks like uh what's that um my gosh future fest little area yeah Yeah, it looks like a future fest like controller like oh it does like they have the whole crowd and everything right there yeah the dj booth the dance floor Mm -hmm. with the lights and everything it's sick that's that's sick um, so yeah, we haven't really done a Pavia update over here in a while. I need to create my avatar. I need to get a look at the avatars over here. Um, a shout out to those. And then obviously the little paths things. I'm curious where those will be here um, by Friday um, as we get closer to that release. It is so, Friday. They're listening to it now. Hey guys, did you know it's Friday? It's Friday. Yesterday, TGIF. Thursday. Oh, stop. Come on. Today is Friday. All right. If you want and, the full song, Tommy will do it for you guys. Just got to request it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, all right. Well, moving on with that is yes, it is Friday, but also another thing that we wanted to give an update on is Ada Knots. We go. officially have got a sellout. Congrats to Bourbon, the team, Ron, Robin, everybody mm-hmm. over there. Um, dude, that was that, I, that jumped quick. I did not know what to expect. Obviously, we had the whitelist um, over there for the tent. You can mint 10 of them in there. But uh, even if you all the whitelist of the 300 uh, Genesis antidotes and minted, that was 3,000. So I still meant there was 4,777 for public mint. And I wasn't really sure, especially in these times when you have an 88 a mint, um, if they're going to sell out how, too well. And I don't know how many, it, t- it took a few hours, but it, it didn't last too long. I think what it may be like, maybe like three, four hours and then it was sold three, out. Yeah, three hours, yeah. Which is pretty crazy to see. So shout out to these guys for selling scoop out. Scoop 10. Scoop dude, 10. Dude, TJ's over here. He's a whale these days. Not really. And considering those rolls, not a whale, really. I know. Yeah, there's not much over there. I know they got the rolls out in the Discord now. I need. I think I need uh, two more to be a higher rank or roll. Well, the interesting I thing. that picture with the passion. Oh, it's just like, hey, we're going to tease you right now. so much. Just seeing that see. picture over and over again. <laughs> oh, in the market? <laughs> yeah. Yes. If they did have it's a good wallet like, in the market on Twitter. Well, they had like oh, a good little video for it. Um, let's see if I can pull that while we're, while we're sitting here. I really I'll want a Milky Way now too. If that's their location. Yeah. Oh man. 
So it was cool to see because all these eventually they all have the same placeholder right now. And it does stay, like it says in the state right here, it just says to be revealed. Uh, it's giving me like PTSD from overexposed right now. Um, and this is, it was cool to see like all these little animated videos prior to them getting painted and stuff like that. It's just like a little teaser inside of here. You don't know what you get. It's like TJ, what's it like? Life's like a box of chocolates. They know what you're going to get. <laughs> With chocolates. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it's funny because someone in the uh, Adenauts chat, they screenshotted like this this scene right here. Uh-huh. It was like, oh, I got a one of one. I'm like a dumbass. I didn't open mine up yet. And Arena was like, oh, man, I just got all the Adenauts one. And I click yeah. on the, the thing and I'm like, oh, I got God, man. He just tricked me. I thought he really did get a one of one or something. He tricked me. <laughs> he did trick me. <laughs> um, that's, yeah, I don't I, I didn't, I opened mine up because I was curious. I thought it was the same placeholder image too. Like it was just that little front, like the Adenauts with a little spaceship at first. And uh, then I didn't realize there's a whole video to that. And they got music and stuff as well. I don't know if our audio uh-huh. listeners could blind it by that. Did you guys listen to that? I did. Everybody's doing music these days. I like it. I wonder who does their music right now. This is a casual life. Like that kind of vibe. Right? Yeah. I just picture Chris doing that. Yeah. I, oh, God. From uh, Night the Roxbury? <laughs> yeah, we're going to date ourselves by that, huh? Um, but no, well, shout out. You know, shout out to Bourbon. And I'm like, come on. Start talking. Talk, get back on focus. Um, we're back over here. Eight of knots, they've sold out. Um, we have, I don't know how long this is. Hopefully the reveal is today. Um, I hope so. And I want to say how long, maybe at least up to two weeks. He said, he said, Oh, well, I was reading the chat to seven, to ten, seven to 10 days. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that would put us maybe Saturday. Out. Mm-hmm. So that would put us at anywhere from Saturday to about like Tuesday, Wednesday of the following week. So, uh, yeah. Dude, yeah. Quick, quick yeah. Math. Um, so yeah, there's, I don't know, who knows? I, I'm not going to lie to you. I sold a couple, just throwing it out there, being transparent, but you still, right you, you still got your top 10. Result. I, um, I guys got the mint luck. So you already know that I sold away the, the ones that aren't as rare and I'm uh, holding on to the, we know, stuff. we know. <laughs> now nah, probably gonna get screwed, but, um, uh, he also did, he's been dropping, he dropped a new teaser right before tonight, which I, I really enjoyed this one a lot. It's a little butterfly. It's got a little like paint it, uh, is that old? I just think most people don't know that like, he really paper. does hand make all of those pieces yeah, on, on, that. on all these clays. We got to actually see a little behind the scenes after we record the interview. I know we already showed on Dude. a couple other people's live streams, but he really does make every individual piece from the mouth to that paintbrush to the butterfly wings, the background. Like he does all of that. Well, the one thing that I mean, obviously the butterfly wings on this looks insane, even a little uh, the little apron and stuff, the paintbrushes. But dude, the eyes, the coloring for the eyes, he did really well. It's like almost like a hazel looking color. Mm-hmm. Um, the blending on that looks there. really, yeah, it looks oh, yeah. very well done. Um, he's, he's getting really good at this stuff too. Hazel, listen to Tommy over here. Yeah, I got hazel eyes. Bro. I was going to say he has hazel. That's why he's saying that shit. Yeah, I know. And brown. Hazel, hazel recognized hazel. Um, so these these this chefs look dope, man. I wonder if I'm gonna get butterfly wing. TJ, you gonna get like the which one do you think you're gonna get? Like the I, little uh I like the one from the intro, the stoner one. Oh yeah, that would be dope. I don't have that here. I want or this guy right here. If you get the little like I wings want the on it. smoke the cigarette. That's my you actually you dope. actually sold that guy, Tommy. Some guy already did. So whoever me. whoever bought uh three zero zero. Yeah, we have to go back nine. through. I, I am, I want to. Yeah, see what they I mean. definitely want to see what the hell oh, I got. Yeah. Whoever that is, if you got something awesome, you're welcome. If you're not, I'm sorry. We're gonna, we're gonna point and laugh like an awesome powers, ah, like the janitor, more awesome powers. Yeah. <laughs> I just picture that guy's face. He had no yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, but shout out to Verbin and the guys, man. They deserve this stuff, man. It's been an awesome to see their uh, where, where they've come from and how like the adversity he had to face back in the day to where they are at now to have a full, sold out project. And the hype is real right now for this stuff. So it's just beginning. Uh, which is really cool to see. So shout out yeah, to Aiden and Knots. for sure. Yeah, that's a dope that's success for sure. Great dope, success. Dope, dope. Great success. Um, what else we got dropping this week? You we guys have... expected that though. Before you move on, you guys were never doubting that. You were already. Oh know, yeah. So, well, I mean, I just didn't know enough as much about him. I wasn't in it as early as you guys. So it's nice to see that after getting to talk to him and stuff. And and they've grown on me so much. Uh, the little aliens. I love them. About to I'm, customize I'm, them. Dude. I can't. I can't wait for it. Yeah. Um, moving forward over here, we have Ada Ninjas back again for the third time. Um, for the last clan that's minting this week on the 21st is the Daisuke. Daisuke? I think it's one of those Daisuke? two. Daisuke. I want to say that. We talked to Zush, uh, Zushan 
God, my, my pronunciation is tonight. Um, Zushan, maybe back in February. I think we were talking about that. February like um, 5th. Yeah, beginning of yeah, February. Something like, yeah, early, early this year. It feels like forever. Um, and we were talking about the Atsuko clan at that time. We have our third drop now, finally, that's just, just releasing this week. And if you've listened to, if you're listening to the podcast right now, you actually already know that we talked to Zushan last night. You got um, loads of information. All your questions have been answered. Well, unless Sushan canceled on us. And in case this doesn't mean anything, you can skip past this part. Um, <laughs> um, but no, That's um, the best part you guys get like a, a full blown fight or something like on stream. Yeah. Like, come so, on. Yeah. <laughs> it's a great um, no. time. He's got a whole bunch of good information. We loved him last night. It's fantastic. And, what over here oh okay um i'm re- sorry i'm reading the chat over here and TJ's just uh, psyching me out with whatever he's got going on yeah, this is a sneak little movie yeah but uh no i mean you guys tj did you have a season two did you get i did I, I had two of them okay i saw two of them yeah um i can't believe it's been like it's i think they're, like, what are they called i think it was something else at suko season two is at suko no, yeah, uh, no okay. season one was aramar aramar two, that's it. and then at suko and then now daisuke um it's the oh. season three um, I think, how long has it been since the second drop? Was it the same amount of time between the first and second? It was like, like the February, like, like, like February, February. Yeah, February, yeah, February time. And I think November was the first. Okay, time around. so it's been October, October November of time. Yeah, so they've they've been pacing pretty well. They've had the manga. They've had all kinds of stuff going on. They just dropped this Ninja Scrolls 2.0 right here, um, which has some really cool stuff as far as like the Ninjas token. Again, everybody's doing the tokens right now. Um, game development, which we got a real nice little tease for that, and then an anime as well. So they've got a new update here. Awesome background. If you're watching the podcast too, um, shout out to I this background. Say, I really like that background. I might use it for this week's thumbnail. I mean, yeah, it's a good idea. You might or you did? You did. That is the real question. Um, I love the fact that you have a nice little rocket pad. They just had it waiting here for us. Um, Tom, you know what you I can do? I couldn't figure out which one to put it on. Tom, you can put our little logo right here if you want to. You can put an NFT. Who knows? Oh, well, I'm curious. I wonder what you did. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. If there's um, time. Well, they Tune do have, in like, next week, though. Okay, if you, I love these things, too, because it reminds me kind of like how Chill Kongs did theirs and even the mandrills where they tease, like, the future roadmap in like the actual like anime you know the little cityscape right here see the so burn see baby like, burn burn baby burn so you might be able to burn your past ninjas which is interesting um you have the box office here which obviously they're talking about the anime steak and chain um you have the manga just sitting out here i cannot read that whatever that little game boy thing says um I don't know if you guys got this it's just something it looks like staking if you're reading this staking you're reading this too late yeah um and play to earn up here uh, that's interesting. And they even have a sound waves because I know they do have stuff over on Spotify as well. So they have all kinds of crazy stuff. Um, and then I don't even know. See how this thing's like floating above them right there. There's it's a couple good. guys floating. The one over on the left side platform, he's like floating up off it, the, the blue dude. Ah. Um, Ooh, I yeah, see the steak thing. It says around. steak and claim up there. Steak. Um, <laughs> 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 what is this that too spigolo? Too spigolo, yeah. Oh man, oh. <laughs> it makes me so hungry. <laughs> it's not a chicken breast. <laughs> um, but this Daisuke over here is, I want to say, yeah, so these are all animated too, which is really crazy. So, this is the first like animated collection set where every NFT will include a music stem. With obviously, like we're talking about the music, uh, the mint is on the 21st, which that is a Saturday, which is tomorrow. Um, I love our times. It's real fun to keep up with that stuff right now. I'm just glad um, it's the weekend. I'm just like, this week was long, a lot, you know, tough week. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's cool. These, I really enjoy the art style on these because all three of them obviously <laughs> have different, like, uh, different styles to them. Like, obviously, they, that's one like, I was going to say that I love how they've kind of like shifted them a little bit each time. So they kind of all are very distinct. And it gives like everybody like a different like flavor for like mm-hmm. whatever whatever their style is. Um, flavor, flavor. What uh, tell you, TJ? What's the uh, drop time for this on the twenty first? Eight p.m. UTC. UTC. Yes, yeah, so that's what at four p.m. Eastern our time. Um, mm-hmm. when, what we got eight thousand eight hundred and eighty eight of these things at sixty eight of each. Um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, wait, mm-hmm. but uh, isn't there like a little discount method or something like that? There is. So if you if you have each ninja you hold equals one percent off at a cap of twenty percent off. Um, no. so, so obviously, to even get the percentage off, you still send the sixty in. Mm-hmm. Um, you will rec- you will receive the proper discount when they send you back your NFT. That's cool. So if you hold up to twenty, if you hold twenty of the any of the other seasons, you yep. can get up to twelve eight a discount. 
Yes. That's dope. So if I hold one of them, I'm getting a point six eight a discount. Shout out to those dust fees. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so that's dope. Dope to see uh, what they got going on here. These dice, uh, they look they look really well done, man. I like the art style. It reminds me of like a I don't know why not what to I don't know how to say it. it what does it like, remind you of? It reminds me if they were like these and not not to say it like that, but basically the ninjas that from like the second se- series were like put into like Disney. And then they, they came out like the, I don't know I got like the little facial vibes from this from this guy mainly um, he just looks like the hero or like I don't know can you see that okay. I can see that I can, I can see what you're saying yeah but not not it's not Disney obviously but you know what I'm saying like that kind of get that more like cartoony than like the more serious kind of yeah yeah, yeah yeah it's got a little more oh. softer like cartoon yeah, too. yeah I'm picking I'm too. picking up what you're putting down. All right. Well, at least at least somebody is. Uh, it's just it's different, right? Like we talked about, like obviously this art style here. This is the Atsuko that we're looking at right now, which has got like a darker theme to them. Um, they have like the little like sprites or whatever they are, the little ghost things that are sitting next to them. Um, and then even like the RMR, um, those are a completely different style. You can kind of see here. Um, and now obviously we're over here with these. Uh, it's it's interesting for these guys because they have so much going on like we were talking about with that scroll paper um and this is one one of the things that i that caught our attention today obviously was this uh the video game this uh shards of uh, shards of nineveh uh, gameplay which i was not expecting any of this right here which is actually pretty crazy looking uh, we're gonna, oh, we're gonna full screen for Tom. Okay, i can see it there you go right, there, there you go guys yeah working alpha I'm letting this go, but see what I was talking about? It's not like GTA. Uh, it's like a, yeah, talking. it's like a dungeon scroll, like a Diablo or something. Oh, just like yeah, that zombie game I was talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what we were talking about. But it looks, I mean, it's in 3D. It's not like 2D. or And it's actually 3D, like, character models, uh, which is interesting. And it says, which clan will be victorious? It's there? almost like the League of Legends view, if anyone's played League of Legends. But I know it's not a click-through base, but it's like that, like you said, almost like angle vertical view down yeah. there. It's there. like a Diablo or <coughs> right Diablo exactly scroller or something like that. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think they got a better. Here we go. That's a better screenshot grab of it. That looks a lot better. Um, you can great. tell. I mean, it's a very early pre alpha stuff, but I mean, yeah. it's cool to see something like this is kind of stuff. These are the updates we need if you're gonna like make these kind of you know promises, these big ambitious projects. I want to do this kind of stuff. This is very encouraging to see this. It's cool. It's the crazy that it's coming out like they're already dropping it now like this this whole shards of nineveh is a 3d isometric multiplayer action game where players representing one of the three clans fight to claim territories by competing in arena mini games uh so they got mini games clan territory wars and then social spaces and then i guess uh you can battle to win to earn their ninjas token over here too um so that's that's just really interesting um when I hear many games, though, I just like think of Mario Party, like all three ninjas are right. running on a log or like throwing apples. Or <laughs> that's pretty crazy. It says the requirement suited is going to be a web based like game application um, that's built for the card on a blockchain on this, too. So, again, we're in alpha is what they're saying. But um, all you need, you need to have a NAMI wallet to be able to log into the game. You do not need ADA or ninjas to play the game. That's sick. Ninja. That's cool. So that's pretty cool to see. So obviously, uh, it sounds I mean, Nami. It's interesting. It's not eternal yet. Um, so obviously, if it's a new movie, um, no, we'll get that reference at all. Um, <laughs> but um, they've dropped this whole new. Sc- I'm not going to go through the whole scroll paper, which I'm sure we probably already we did it last night. Sean. We, we yeah, we've already you've already seen it if you watched the live stream. If you haven't, man, what are you doing? We probably time go watch it or something. Go watch it. YouTube right now. Yeah. Don't forget to like and subscribe to that too. Yeah, guys, this is what we put these timestamps here for you. These are told in the beginning of it. You, uh, you missed the other time on there. If you just hit this timestamp right now, we left a sneak timestamp in the beginning. And if we didn't, that's TJ's fault. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> uh, shout out to Aiden Inches, though. Uh, these guys have that's one of the sweet. coolest websites, too. Um, God, was this the one where you could scroll down? On the and, like, phone, it like built yeah. uh, the NFT oh, you, where you showed you. Yeah, it was um, like he was like how these are built or something cool. like that. Yeah, that's very cool. Oh, uh, we're we're loading. We kind of know what your guys is looking like. Yeah, Never know what you're gonna get, dude. Life's like a box of chocolates, but um, it's like a bag of tacks. No, what does that mean? That one? <laughs> you, you never know when you're gonna get. Not even a titus. <laughs> no. <laughs> is that the Sunday scaries reference, huh? Oh, yeah. it is, dude. Because we're on a Monday. The Sunday scaries are real. Um, but it's not Sunday, so that doesn't make any sense. Um, but all right, shout out to Aiden Ninjas, guys. Um, 
last mint that we wanted to jump into uh, for this week is junkies versus veggie mates over the veggie mates. We've just, I really do like the junkies a lot. Yeah. Well, we, well, these things are, what are they on the 18th and 19th? So if you're listening to the podcast right now, this has already happened. Um, but we did a sit down. So hopefully you watch the sit down with these guys, um, over on our channel, we got a chance to sit down with, uh, with Brian and Paul Beastives or big PT. I think is that the Twitter handle? Mm -hmm, It is. God, I was really hoping I didn't butcher that. Um, but yeah, we went ahead and dropped our, uh, our uh, little sit down here. Tom did made a nice little Mortal Com- Mortal Combat uh, reference over there, over onto the channel. I think we showed that off earlier, didn't we? We did. Um, yeah, yeah. We showed it off. He did. Yeah, so shout, it's a shout streamer, out to Tom. Live stream or something, maybe. I don't know. I don't yeah. That. Sure. Well, that, that's yeah for sure. Um, I don't know where it is. This is not it, but we'll, we'll catch it over here somewhere. You guys, just go check out the channel. Um, if not, you can go ahead and see it over here on our show. Oh, there it is. Um, and we, we showed this off earlier, but Tom just got into Mortal Kombat vibes, you know? And we got a little music. I really like the Freedom 35ers uh, little thing. And that, that little intro screen looks dope, man. You're getting good at this stuff, dude. I just love, can we just shout out how make good, some of like, for a live stream. Stuff can you like just that. shout out how good Paul, too, looks in this of, like, an actual, yeah, right. like, character, like, <laughs> for like a video game? Like, he, sure. like, was meant for that. Like right <laughs> The black hoodie, black beanie, like, yeah, he looks like he'd, he'd be someone that would be in a fighting game like that for sure. Mars <laughs> gets thrown off a little bit with the headphones. That was my problem with it. Yeah. We're all just having headphones. And just, yeah, okay. like Jet Set Radio out there or something. No, it was the one chick from Street Fire. She wears the blue and she has like the... Oh, uh, Chun-Li? Yeah. The earmuffs. That's yeah, the earmuffs, right. yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, shout out to Veggie Mates those because their mint has already happened apparently. Um, so... Hope that went well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, we had a, we had a good little sit down with them. It was fun to, fun to check those guys out. Um, and it was dope that like I said, the crumb lord thing, I really like that concept. Of, oh, you know, the vigilantes are just sick. Yeah, the vigilantes, lantes, vigilantes, lantes, however you want Itos, to pronounce it. Itos, Itos. Yeah. Oh, ooh. speaking of that, you got those coming up here soon. Um, <laughs> ooh, ooh. Oh, oh, oh. oh, hey. No, all right, guys, we're getting a little crazy here. It's getting, it's freedom after dark officially. Um, hey, man, we try not to do that tonight, too. Oh, I did not see this one, by the way. Um, I really enjoy that right there. It's got like a it's a French fry with like a little gas mask looking thing, like on. a bane mask on the front. And then it's got a it. candy corn in its brain controlling like with some. That's a, that's creative. I like. It's like plankton in the brain. It's like who? I was thinking more like plankton uh, from SpongeBob. Thinking more like <laughs> the first, you said it. <laughs> the first man in black. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. In their head. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's what were those good. things? They're like termites or they were like really long. Like I don't even know what those things were. They're just like bugs or something. I don't know. Yeah, I know. So like the aliens. I guess. Sugar water. Um, but yeah, shout out to the, the junkies. Uh, I really do. Uh, I like, obviously, I like this art style a little better than the veggies. Um, I do. Yeah. It, it, I, they're, with the whole game, the greens uh, token that they have coming out, they have like, they have a lot in the works. And it's cool to see that they're like, they're building for like a future. Like I said, the cool thing about the gaming portion of that is that they, you own the account, you own the asset. They want to really put that like at the forefront of what they're doing is that it's, you know, it's yours. Um, and that's a real cool part about these like pre, like play to earn things going forward is that it doesn't just die when the game's life cycle ends. You can actually turn these things in, cash them in for like the greens token to be able to buy future content or whatever it is that you may have. So um, it, it's that's a dope, dope way for these new games to really start to like, I don't know, like create a market for themselves um, by being able to own your assets, which is really cool. Um, but I really appreciated talking with the team and I know I'm sure you guys did too, right? Yeah, it, was, nope. it was interesting to learn more about that. I mean, they had a lot of uh, a lot going on that I was not caught up on because we just I'm not a project I'm, I've ever really been in. Besides talking about them a couple of times in the show, and they're minting, and I'm kind of looking at the one you had, Tommy. So it was fun catching up on that. Yeah, for sure. Damn, Tom, this is where we could have got crazy. You had a, like you said, we were running on a short week this week, so uh, Tom has some crazy ideas for this, but uh, maybe maybe another time. Um, That's a good looking gonna... background too, though. That that city yeah. like that, I do like that. It is too. We probably could have used that one, huh? Um, I would have to do a lot of moving stuff around. Did we make a change? We will find out on Friday. Um, a shout out to Veggie Mates again. If you were mentioned this, if this happened on what the 18th and 19th, and we don't need to tell you because it's already done. Um, one of the last things though that we wanted to talk, or I just want to quick mention, is if we we did get an update on this from somebody in the live stream. I think our first live stream was for Worlds Within. Um, they've had that metaverse where you were just basically walking around your wallet, which is kind of cool. Uh, but they did 
to airdrop people who held those those like nebula serums uh is what they called them it was like a little green like vial and then i just happened to be scrolling on twitter this morning i was like oh you know what they actually you can turn one of those vials for 1080 you can actually mint the explorers for their like metaverse world um the only reason i wanted to shout that out too is that i really did enjoy the artwork for this um it was super like simple um but not even simple but it was like I don't know, it was very clean looking um the way that they have this set up so i'll show you guys like the little like toads um as I, as they're out there it's like I like the toads all right yeah yeah toads look cool they, they look yeah. decent right do um, a little toad frog you got today that looks sick yeah they have the you know the even the the like the warriors like you could fit these in like maybe like an eight ninja or somebody it would, it would work um but it was cool to see these different little like characters that are in there. And it was, you know, caught me out of nowhere. So you can actually buy these. If you don't have that nebula serum, um, in 10 ADA, you can actually buy them for 68. And I believe that they're still currently going on, um, the drop right now. Um, but if I see well, if I can going on right now on Monday, but correct. On you listening to this, maybe they're still going on. Maybe they're not. And we're not going to tell you for sure right now. Yeah, <laughs> but we're not going to tell you. Yeah. But if they are there you can go pick one up go check them uh, out for sure they are they do look yeah. cool though i like that yeah. that's not one i've been looking into yeah and i didn't I guys, like, the, like the, the, the like the led screen faces like the, the yeah the, like a frustrated face in the heart i do like that look a lot it's yeah it was a head floating it's like a nice little robot theme i like curious. an led like screen or something as the face like a pixel screen that's cool yeah I, i'm curious too because like <clears> once this goes into like the 3d world because you know the worlds are in uh 3d how this mm -hmm. is gonna how these actually like will populate in game um so that, that'll be cool to see but i just want to shout these guys out there another uh, more of an og project out there now that are building so um yeah these are these are just kind of a pleasant surprise today when i woke up so shout out to worlds within um and then lastly mint over here we got dude we got back to back a a a sky. Sky. Lock 14, we're here, May 22nd, 2200 UTC, same thing as before, 508 to 26. 508, holy hat, dude. Damn, that's bad. That's some old school prices. Um, Damn. No, uh, it's definitely not. It's uh, 26 ADA for 500 of these. Um, but oh, dude, okay. I was going to say, are you serious? Or back to, oh, this really 500 ADA again? No. <laughs> No, dude. So block 14, dude. Aeonium Sky is pumping these out to meet up with that astral map um here soon. So I love I love that we're getting back to back drops. We used to have to wait like a, a literally like a month uh or two sometimes to get, yeah. get a get a block. Um, but dude, we we didn't get a chance to to look at it, but block 13 dropped um on Sunday, the past one, and it was like that unlucky objects and the superstitions that were in there mm -hmm. and i know a couple of people were looking some of these things up and it was fun to like see some of the explanations those are all different um remember that what was it the shoes on the table or yeah they, they, they answered that question oh, like, they can't ken like, adams answered that house. no ken, i thought well, alien sky no alien sky, sky did it. he talked about yeah, britain they, they came uh, right into the uh the discord i asked because they're like hey if you guys ever have any questions let me know so now that you mention it i have it here there's a superstition that bad luck will come to a person who plays your shoes on a table um i agree get your shoes off the tail you yeah you never person. put your shoes what are you doing well that's, that's because that it's, bad it, luck. it says another belief common in the north of england is that the tradition relates to the coal mining industry when a miner died in a colliery accident his shoes were placed on the table as a sign of respect oh so, so it could be like two different things that's what he said or they that's, said that's interesting um it was cool to see like all the different little things come to life over here um inside the actual mint itself but dude i can stare at these things all day um it's it's so fun to watch Aeonium sky stuff and it's just i don't even know man this is such an underrated project and even now people don't you know in the world of flippers and tokens and all kinds of stuff metaverses that we're in um and sometimes i feel like these don't get appreciated as much as they should um as far as quality of visual stuff it's definitely it's for sure up there though bricks was for me personally like i just it's i would say it all the time it's just so good it's just so detailed, man. And, and the crazy thing is, is that this is all one giant picture. So when he's designing these or they are designing these things, they have to keep in mind that all of it has to fit together. Yeah. Um, so and I know he doesn't just, I know he didn't make the whole thing at once because otherwise we'd have all the blocks out probably a lot sooner. Um, but yeah, it's definitely interesting to see how these are being designed. So now I'm curious because obviously each week you don't see the actual block until like literally a couple of minutes before. Um, so May 14th or May 22nd, dude. Yeah, May 22nd. I can't believe that's they're coming. He's they're flying out now, though. He's pumping or they're pumping them out just nonstop. So it's it's solid to see. 
So, hey, Aeonium Sky, Aeonium Okeski. Uh, shout, oh, shout out to to Aeonium Sky and also for jumping in our Discord and, and saying hi. I completely forgot. I didn't want to not, not shout that out. Uh, how cool was that, by the way? That's pretty, right. Yeah, it's, it's still, uh, you know, I can still fanboy a little bit about that kind of stuff. So especially someone that we've been talking about since like episode zero. So seeing that, it's just kind of like, hey, did you guys see this? Like, check it out. It's, Discord, <laughs> it's right? like, like, wait, is that, is that actually Aeonium yeah. Sky? Like it was so like, no, cool. it was zero, 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 whatever, one or whatever it was. And I was like, wait, that's the real Aeonium Sky. That's um, sick. And I know we even shout out like, dude, we need to get you on for a spotlight or one, you know, sit down something. Um, he's like, I just don't do voice interviews, but I were like, I'm like, damn, we, we have to work something out where we get him like a robot or like, damn, can you imagine if he designed like a robot face, like it with his Aeonium Sky art and then actually, um, like we robot voiced it or if you like typed it out or something like that, how crazy that would be. Figure something out. I was thinking we could, I could get some sort of, um, <clears throat> robot avatar to use or whatever, and we could record different audio tracks on zoom. So you yeah. could always kind of like replace one of the audio tracks with some sort of like, you know, make it fun. Like we're getting interviewed by Saw or something like that. Bro, <laughs> that'd be so wild. Yeah, that'd be actually wild. Um, dude, it, I, I don't know, man. Like, it's so cool to see where you're kind of, like, especially where we started um, and then where where everything's kind of gone. And then the fact that we're getting to interact and that they're in our Discord right now, um, that's just really appreciative. Um, it's really cool to see. Um, oh, yeah, so, that, and this we're interacting too with everybody and us. I think that's that was great. Yeah, for sure. Well, um, you know, I think towards the back end of this stuff, we uh, we got some catching up to do on another project that we uh, we've been neglecting. Apparently, we have another community spotlight on a project that we have just started recently covering. And um, I know the community has been asking for this a while on our channel. And we're finally happy to bring you more information. And we thought we'd bring on an expert tonight. Uh, We have David King. David, welcome on. Hey guys, what's up? How are you guys doing? Thank you for good, having me. Good, good. Dude, okay. it's been awesome to get you in here, man. It's been, uh, I've been listening to you for a while and I think all of us have over on Real Talk on uh, Tuesday. So it's yeah. dope to actually get a chance to sit here and talk to you. Um, and then we heard you the Mikasi expert. We got, uh, we got that over from Jack. He was like, you need to talk to David King or Durashi. Um, so I know you have been a fan a little bit of the podcast. You've reached out as well. So yeah. we figured this would be a perfect way to get a chance to talk about a project that we don't know too much about and then you know let our audience you know get a little bit more information and learn why this project is like coveted by a lot of people inside the community especially some like oh geez i know a lot of people in there um are, are watching this project i just want to say i still remember too before we had the discord stuff you know we were still just kind of a couple weeks in or whatever and i think you retweeted one of our videos or something and i was like all right guys this is like this is pretty sweet or yeah. getting some like attention out there that was one of the big ones video, the first one i was like this to. is so good i love every minute uh of, of your video and, and you guys are just cool right i mean you know we don't have the opportunity to <laughs> see so, a lot yeah. of people so to be able to see you guys and you're cool and you're covering so broad section of the cardano nft community is really really awesome so i'm happy to be here happy to talk about makasi it's an honor to be recommended by the man in the basement himself jack yep. Uh, yep. Well, that's it's an honor to have you on though we're excited to learn more about makasi that's for sure yeah, yeah. I, just like a preface for everybody um over there in the makasi community if you are watching this now too um, we definitely have got, the, we've seen your messages, um, you know, cover Mikasi, cover Mikasi, you know, um, we always, like we were talking before this, you know, we always cover Yummy Universe, which is a project we really love, um, but there has been a lack of Mikasi on the channel and you guys have been building a lot um, over there. So it's definitely something that we needed to cover. Um, and I'm glad we finally get a chance to sit down and do this. Yeah, yeah, I am too. So, um, and I like, I like both projects, you know. I, I really oh yeah. Them. Well, that's one thing we always want to talk about, right? You can, you can love more than one project or you can yeah. even if you really love one more than the other it doesn't that you know you can have your favorites it's not like you have to be dedicated to one community and that's a part of the reason why we're even doing this right like you know we're not just because we love yummy doesn't necessarily mean that we have to harp on that all the time you know we love to branch out in other projects and what's going on in the space especially something that's doing very successful too um, and it's very similar thank yeah. you for saying that though i mean the amount of times you hear stuff just like that project oh no fuck those guys it's my project or nothing like i no, they're doing well oh then even worse that gets terrible for everyone it's just like well why can't everyone succeed and you can enjoy two things at once it doesn't have to be like versus each other if you don't like it, it still doesn't have to be versus each other it could just be like they exist and do their thing and you exist and do your thing i don't i've never quite understood that so uh, but i think we we had just kind of been really naive and ignoring Mikasi. really like we saw the mint we were just so 
focused into yummy we started the show just kind of got our time taken away from us and never got to fully dedicate like a look into it as it got even more developed and then i know when jack was on we were kind of like ah we've been uh we've been really messing up on this one yeah, a lot of <laughs> really dropped the ball <laughs> yeah. Fassi has been a sleeper it has truly been a sleeper i think in the community and i am quite selective about which projects i get into and if i don't really meet them i typically don't go back and get into a project Right. So yeah. for me, I did not meet Mikasi. I didn't really know much about the project. But um, when I learned about the project, I said, yo, this is something that I definitely want to at least have some exposure into. And uh, I dived in the community. I, I'm in the Discord pretty much every day uh, over at Mikasi. So uh, it's just been a it's been a, it's been a joy, you know, being in this project and, uh, and seeing this team and what they've been able to deliver. And their plans, they're definitely very ambitious plans. Uh, the team has made it very well known that they want to take this mainstream. Uh, so um, I think it, I think it's a great project. And I'm really happy to uh, talk a little bit about Mikasi, Mikasi Planet, you know, what they're building, what they're intending to do. And, um, you know, like anything, um, I think we should all do our, our research. I typically am only in projects that I really enjoy and that I believe in, and I, I plan to actually do things uh, in, in the future. So. Mm -hmm. well, I think that's the big important thing now too, especially coming from like, I don't know, like the exact like date you got into the Cardano NFT like um, ecosystem, but especially people who have been there since the early days, it, you've, you've, you've seen the, the wave, right? You've seen the come and go of a lot of different projects and in the, the life cycles of some, and obviously some make it and some don't, and some are here to stay. But uh, I think the important part of it is as you start to grow as an investor or just a collector, whatever it is that you may be, is that you, you, you tend to gravitate towards things that you want to become in your, that you enjoy, that you're part of the community or that you see yourself in long-term. Um, so it's important to go back. Um, you know, it's great to take profits and flip and do all that stuff, but eventually you want to get back into the projects that you're a part of and that you're enjoying. Um, so that's why I think these are part of fun because you get into these communities where this feels like home. Like this is the discord that I, I am a part of and I like this uh, community and I like what these guys are doing. I believe in the project and this is where I'm at. So that that's always uh, an important part, I think, when it comes to this, uh, this NFT world that we live in right now. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, so I, I could just maybe start with a little bit about how I got into Mikasi and then some of the things that I really, really like about the project. Um, yeah, I was going to get right into that, but I always forget because you're a host too over on, a, <laughs> over on your space too. So we get into that mindset. As, I love it. Yeah, but that was that would be actually the first great introduction, like you said. Um, yeah, how, how did you get into Mikasi? What makes you excited about this project? And uh, yeah, what's your story? Yeah, so I... Um, I've been in Cardano NFT since nearly the beginning, I would say uh, late April of last year. So for wow. over a year now, uh, my wallet is just a literal history <laughs> of Cardano, uh, the Cardano NFT uh, market is seen. I've probably minted God knows how many projects, spent a ton of ADA. I did not mint Mikasi's and I did not know about, you know, uh, I didn't know about a lot about Mikasi, but what I was looking to do was I wanted to add a few more uh gaming uh mm -hmm. nfts to my portfolio i wanted a little bit more exposure some of the gaming so i was doing a lot of research on uh nfts that have some gaming aspects to it um obviously equine and we have yummy and we have others so uh i heard about mikasi actually in the dead pixels discord there was a guy that says something about mikasi and i'm kind of like oh you know all right i'm gonna take a look i'm gonna take a look but take a look into the project when I go into any project, even with Ape Society, I always hit the Discord first, even before yeah. I learn about the project, because I do want to get a feel for uh, the community and the team. How does 100%. the team engage with their community? Do they engage with their community? So I learned that Mikasi is aiming to be a play to earn game. I know that uh, that kind of gets a bad rap. It's a very controversial thing, uh, not only in crypto, but also in uh, Cardano. Uh, NFTs, but the thing that really immediately drew me to Makasi was the appeal and the cuteness of the Edos. I mean, I thought that they had some really kind of cool traits to them, some of them that were kind of funny, some of them were kind of cool. So I really liked the uh, kind of the, the child nature kind of and the, the broad appeal to the project. Um, so that, that was kind of cool. Also, they were quite affordable too. So, I mean, when I first, uh, were looking at 
Mikasi and the, and the Edos, they were around, I would say, a 38 a floor. Oh, wow. Dang. Yeah, they were around a 38 a floor. I did, I did, but I go in and I do a little bit of a mix. So the first night that I came into the Discord, I just went ham sniping. I went sniping in the in the upper rarity. I went sniping and Discord was just going crazy. But I read about the project and one of the things that first impressed me about the project was the actual team. Yeah. Um, one of the things I will say about Mikasi that I do like is that from the very beginning, they have stated that their intention is to make a mainstream game. Uh, and I, I like that they had focus and intention uh, from the very beginning, right? It's not like, you know, oh, they say, oh, hey, we're going to create a metaverse because that's cool. Or, hey, we're going to just do a DAO. We're gonna, you know, they weren't tacking on, you know, kind of what was hot. Right. Mm-hmm. Were, little catchphrases for everybody. They were not. I mean, they yeah. were straight out from the beginning. They said, hey, this is what we're doing. So I did a lot of research when i say i did a lot of research like <laughs> i started from the website i researched every single member of their team i was looking at their twitters i went to their linkedin profiles I'm background at, checks yeah. everything right? i am doing, <laughs> i am going ahead like and, and granted, you know, i'm not really talking to anybody else anybody else about my at this point like i don't it's, it was very kind of a new project but one of the things that really caught my attention two things about the community that really caught my attention was one um the founders of Mikasi, they had been in Cardano, and I didn't know this, since uh, like twin, like when it first started. They had been, uh, many of the people had been in Cardano for a long time, like running stake pools back in the early, early, early days. I'm talking like 2017, you know, way back then. So uh, I thought that was quite impressive. Another thing that I thought right. was uh, impressive was they had a team, a large team, and they had already invested in different sections of their team. So for example, uh, they have this community manager called Sap. I mean, he is out there hustling, making things happen. But their game designer, I found out through my own personal research was that he is actually a game designer for one of the top mobile gaming companies in the world. Um, So when I saw that, I was like, yo, their team actually has experience one in Cardano and they have a game designer that's designed games some of which have over a hundred million downloads. Uh, wow. Worldwide. So that's amazing. That's not, I mean, they're very it's humble. It's a real deal they're for sure. Humble. They're yeah. a very humble team. Uh, the second thing I will say that I really did like was um, the the actual Mikasi team. They, they hold a weekly AMA. Mm. Uh, um, so every single week since I've been in that, uh, in that discord, they hold a weekly AMA and the, the project head comes out and then they have the different leads of their different divisions actually come into the AMA. So you have oh, a wow. project lead and then they would have like the art, the artistic lead. And then they would also have uh, a technical lead to come in and, and kind of do, give us a weekly uh, AMA. So I was immediately kind of um, struck one by the the appeal, you know, similar to Yummy. Yummy has a broad appeal. And I think if you're going to have uh, a game and what you're going for. I think they had a very clear vision. You know, their their appeal kind of matches that vision. And then um, I really love the fact that they have they have an AMA uh, every week. And then some weeks they actually did a voice AMA, which I thought was just really really good. Really, it so, just yeah. keeps the community engaged and 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 saying like, hey, we're still here. Any questions you have, we're going to answer them all the time. We're not going to keep you guys mm-hmm. in the dark, which I think is it's great to see that a community. And the team is doing that for them. That, that's awesome. Ooh, yeah, yeah, I really like that. Especially if you're doing a game, you know, right. they have really big uh, ambitions. So really it's going to take some time cool. to develop too. So you want that kind of constant stream of communication, you know, from the team or the people you kind of invested with or invest in the game here to, to see it to be developed. It's tough when a month goes by and you hear nothing at all. You know, they may not have all these updates, but even just getting, getting on and being able to ask where are things at, maybe just saying like, this much further not that much but you know nothing huge to announce we're just kind of doing bug testing or whatever it is yeah that's they've one been thing very clear about their roadmap too they've been very clear they've met every single you know milestone in their roadmap and you can go on their website and just see that's what i wanted to kind of jump into real quick because i didn't realize how in-depth everything was for the team over here we were talking about this 
Um, I didn't, I, I was one question I did have, and I, I mean, obviously I could have just jumped on the website and looked at it, but I didn't realize when you were saying that you went to their LinkedIn and you were jumping in that, I, I realized they actually have their LinkedIn on some of these, uh, you know, some of the different team members here. So you can actually look them up. Um, yeah. so that's, that's actually really interesting. And like you said, it's important for your team, for you to hear, you know, the leadership behind the, this project, especially if somebody's taking on something as large and ambitious as what they're trying to actually pull off. Right. Like if you have a, you know, you're trying to pull a, whether it's a mobile game or just a game in general, like we know it just from seeing it in gaming throughout our lives, um, you know, triple A games take years and years to come out. So, you know, even if they're doing something on a way smaller scale, it still takes a lot of resources to do that. So you want to know the people behind this project are capable to take something like that off. Um, so seeing all this and then being transparent about that and then, ver- you know, you know, hearing somebody is different than seeing a type, uh, a post online about stuff. So that, um, I, I didn't realize that. And it's nice to see, I didn't realize over here, August of 2021, they all formed together. So they're coming up, you know, here within what about, you know, nine, 10 months here soon, um, all together. So that's awesome that they're coming into this phase. Um, and that they've been transparent about that. I did not know that. Yeah. One thing to also point out is this is the main team that you see here, but they also have uh, expanded their team now to over 20 people. Oh, wow. They actually wow. have a contract with an actual game studio. Um, mm. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you hop into AMAs. I mean, they yeah. legit are very transparent about um, expand- and we ask them hard questions like <laughs> what's your plan? Darashi is just grilling these folks every week yeah. for tokenomics. Can you tell us about the team? What's this gaming studio, et cetera, et cetera. So I like the fact that they're very, very, very focused um, on their project and what they say they're going to deliver. Yeah. Well, it's nice to see that, you know, you got, they even got testimonials. Like it feels like a business almost, right. When you're like reviewing uh, certain things like that, they're taking it serious like that. Um, that, you know, you don't see this too often over on, uh, you know, these different websites that we're looking at, you know? Um, and then, like you said, the roadmap, that was something I think Jack had mentioned to us too, is that the roadmap they've hit every single milestone that they've, uh, they put out and they haven't missed anything yet. So I'm curious to see like, so where are we, where are we currently at with this? This quarter one here, this has been a big quarter uh, right here where it's Q1 in progress for 2022. Mm-hmm. And maybe this will help give people some understanding. So the concept of the, the, the game actually has multiple phases. And this is another thing that I really love about uh, Mikasi is that you're not just waiting for one final product, right? They have three distinct stages uh, leading up to uh, their final product, which is a Mikasi Planet game. So in yeah. uh, quarter one here, uh, one of the big things is they released their first uh, quote unquote game, which was their uh, breeding function. So you mm-hmm. see here on Q1. And what you were able to do was through a multi-sig transactional Cardano, you're able to take two of your ETOs, Gen 1 ETOs, which are denoted by the yellow color here. If you kind of scroll up a little bit there. Um, yep. Right. These are all your Gen 1 ETOs. And you got some of the legendaries up there. Uh, at the top, and you can take any two of those edos, any of them, and breed them uh, together, and you, you'll produce a generation two eto, which is denoted by a, um, a, a, a more of a, a purple uh, skin tone. So yeah, these would be Gen One. Um, and then eventually, yeah, like I said in this video, I want to pop that out while we were, pop, while we were yeah, talking because I saw this earlier. Yeah. So, so the two ETOs come together to breed the uh, the ETO. I want to keep calling it ITO. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I had to address that at some point. Um, um, but yeah, so the ETOs, this is the, the version twos that you see. And that was always a question I had because I know that's, that's what Jack was also saying to us as well when we were talking about it. It's like you said, they have different phases. Uh, of what they have, they, they have the play to earn portion game. They have the breeding part of the game where you have to basically keep these things like alive. Um, and so I don't know if it reminds me kind of like a Tamagotchi or something along those lines from back in the day. Um, yeah, but yeah. It, it's like definitely interesting. And they're again, they're so what's the difference between the two of these things where you have obviously the, the Ito ones and versus the Ito twos? I mean, I have you know, the, the generation, the, the first editions, but what's the point of having the the, the second ones? Yeah, so the like we like we said, the game you could kind of think of Makasi. They're kind of going for more of an Axie Infinity type mm-hmm. uh, mainstream game on Cardano, and obviously for as many people to play the game, we need a ton of assets mm-hmm. uh, and a ton of Edos, right, for people to actually be able to play and engage in the actual game. So the first right. 
game was the breeding game. Uh, we're currently at tw over 20,000 Gen 2 Edo's bred. That means, oh, wow. I mean, 20,000, that's a lot. I mean, people yeah, are yeah. really going crop, yeah. crazy. Uh, and the only way you can get one of those Gen 2 is by breeding them. And they actually, some of them have new characteristics and traits that you can't find uh, on Gen 1. But all of that is leading up to the first game, which is going to be the pet game. Right. So you're going to be able to take care of your Gen 1 uh, Edo's and uh, Edo 2's uh, in the official pet game. So you'll have to, you'll have to keep them happy, right? You'll have to feed them. You'll have to yeah. ensure that they're taken care of. They just released today in a Discord, a screen of uh, what one of the in-game scenes will look like for when you're taking care of your Edo's. But the ultimate game actually is um, for the Makasi planet. And uh, that is where you will actually have a full-fledged game. You can think of this like as a mobile game. I don't know if you guys have ever played like Boom Boom Beach or some of those games where you have the different resources and you can raid different lands and you have to gather resources. Um, I think it's gonna be uh, similar to that. Okay. That would be the actual, if you can see there in, in phase three, you'll have the actual Mikasi planet game. And what you're seeing now is the Itos are in 2D form, right? In the, in the form of your, I guess, your NFT. But mm -hmm. when you connect to the game, all of the Itos will be 3D and the lands will also all be in 3D. Um, and so they've actually shown us some of the, uh, yeah, so this is uh, one of the initial scenes for the phase two game. Okay. Which is going to be the pet game. Wow, so that's not different. what I was expecting. I don't know why I was expecting it to still look like Samagashi. Right. <laughs> like a flat, like 2D screen just moves back and forth and a poops or whatever. This is much more uh, advanced. <laughs> than I was yeah. Ready for. yeah. It, yeah. Yeah. It, it reminds me of, um, I forget the natural uh, Animal Crossing is what it reminds me it, of. Yeah. I, I could see that. Um, Stardew Valley, that kind of thing. Oh, man. I'm yeah. going to have to go back and take a look at these two because obviously this. Yeah, this this is very like commercially like branding. It, it looks very well done. It looks very like something that could be mainstream. Um, and then outside of that, the I know the lands and stuff. We were just about you know we were talking about that as well because I think the artwork for that is very well done. So I know that is all going to be in three D as well, right? Exactly. The, I mean, again, they are running this project like a legit professional gaming studio, and they have a plan for everything. So if you actually go to the website, I want to hit that real quick. And I think, uh, so you don't have to actually have land to play the game. Mm -hmm. If you have land, you'll actually earn more um, in the actual game. So if you scroll up here and you hit land, this is another thing that made, that I really do enjoy about the project. If you scroll mm -hmm. down just a little bit. Um, I haven't seen this yet. Yeah, this is the map. So you see there's different regions and sections to the land. Mm -hmm. Now, each of the sections actually... Um, have a theme to them. So there's 10 themes to the land and each of the themes are patterned after the 10 legendary Itos. So those uh, red okay. dots right there you see, uh -huh. that is the legendary Itos plot of land. In Damn, wow. Bro, it's Didn't, sick. It's so that is sick. sick. I did not know that. Okay. It's like right on the map. I'm right there. That red dot, that's me. <laughs> Bro, and one of the legendary lands have already sold for 30,000. Wow. I saw that already. That's what I was Jeez. noticing this week. It's, so I those... Oh man. So the cool thing is the community, they actually allow the community to name the lands. So they, on Twitter, they released, say, hey, Twitter, they ran a huge promotion for every single land. And so the community, act, we had votes in the Discord for um, how the different lands will be named. And every legendary Edo has a, a region of Makasi planet associated with it. Uh, and so you can see the different uh, yeah. uh, here. And in the center, that's the world center. And they haven't revealed yet uh, what's going to happen in the world center. But if you scroll down, this is one thing I do want to highlight because it's very, very important. Each of the lands, which you can see here in Chanto, and they'll tell you which legendary Edo it has. Like this is Kiki Nico. This is their legendary <laughs> land. Okay. Each of the lands, and this is one of the things I really do love about Mikasi is as opposed to a generic metaverse plot where you're just getting a plot that you, you're getting a promise of maybe, you know, having some 3D model run around on there and can chat. 
That is not the case with Makasi. These lands actually have intentional function and utility to their ecosystem. And that's one of the things I really like about any gaming project that I'm looking for in any blockchain or NFT is do they have a sustainable ecosystem? And so mm -hmm. every single land actually comes with seven different assets, right? They have a home. So when we're playing the pet game, you're going to have to go into the home and take care of your, your, your Ito. Okay. They have a playground. They have cattle. They have woods. They have gardens, a fish pond, stone mine. So if you, you can click on one of the other ones real quick. I wanted to, well, just real before I get off the screen, since this image is burned on my mind, I just wanted to showcase where that same exact land was. Is it also, this is the 3D render of it too. Uh, so this is their 3D block render. Ah, okay. This is not with any texture yet. Right. Even with their final renderings, if you go into the Discord, you can see they did some that are like really well done. Yeah. It's, it's, I mean, it's really, really good. Um, yeah, so you can uh, see just in this, the water and stuff is still like pre, you know, it's, it's not, it yeah, it's all, I was just there, running yeah. that because this is the exact same image as this, <laughs> yeah. this right there. So I'm just curious to see that back and forth on a 3D and obviously not done yet, but um, that was interesting to see on the, on a, that they've already gone there. Show me that uh, Shock City, Tommy. You want to oh, see Shock man. City? Shock City, this is the one I wanted. I wanted this one so bad. Oh man, this the Alner. So that one is dope. <laughs> I like that one. Yeah, Shock City is great. So I imagine uh, in the future, if you're a land owner, you're going to actually be able to produce more resources that you can sell and trade and do things in game. So you don't mm -hmm. actually have to have land to play the game. Right. If you have a land owner, it's, you're going to kind of be like an OG, right? You're going yeah. to you're going to have more potential uh, to make earnings in the game that you can then uh, trade for ADA and eventually for a fiat currency if you want. Well, it wouldn't remind me. I don't know this how far along that is, or if if that's, they've already announced something along that line. Is to say you don't own any of the land, you want to play the game. You know, it's mass popular at that point. You purchase uh, an Edo two or something to get in, um, and you need certain resources to upgrade your character or feed it. Do something along those lines. Well, you may have to go to some sort of maybe a marketplace or something like that in order to purchase those things. But if you are a landowner that has those certain resources, you're able to harvest them without having to go pay an in-game currency possibly to be able to do that. Would be like my initial thought when you said that. I don't no, know if they announced that. Exactly. You can also put up to four Etos on your land. Uh, another thing that they are planning to do uh, that they already have been building mechanics for is you will be able to lease out your uh, Etos and your land. So they're going to have a scholarship program very wow. similar to what you see in Axie Infinity. They're they're gunning for mainstream. So that's yeah. cool. They, you cool. know, they're giving the original holders right who have a lot of etos and don't plan on being as, you know, vested in the game, mm -hmm. able to have through their scholarship program, be able to lease out your land and your etos to others who want to play uh, the game and they can have a portion of your earnings uh, for playing the game. Cool. I think that caters well to both sides of that. Cause there are a lot of people who sometimes are like, I just want to invest in this. I don't want to actively be involved. I don't have yeah. the time to keep up, but this is the perfect way to go ahead and do that and give that to both sides of that. But first the people who are like, no, I'm playing this game like every day and, and involved with it. Um, I, I really do enjoy that. And like I said, it rewards the people who are in now. And maybe that's why, like you said, a lot of people st are stacking these things up because they can see that vision. Um, I've obviously I've known of Axie Infinity and, you know, I've, I've seen basic stuff on that. I don't know the too much of the inner workings, but um, I know that's a big name to live up to. Um, it is. So. Ah, man, it's it's cool to see like the first iteration of a project who's gunning for something like this, who has good artwork, who has a good plan and good team built behind them on, you know, where they're, you know, just getting started out and seeing where they're going and being a part of that right now. That's exciting. Damn it, Tommy. How do we sleep with this for so long? I don't know, man. We we, we messed up <laughs> on this. I can tell you that. Well, just to be to be honest with you, I know we're on the land portion right here. If we go back to, I guess, the home section where we were talking about the uh, the legendary um, Eidos over here. Is this, I mean, I don't know if they have any of these up top here um, that we were looking at. Are these some of the legendaries? Up yeah, here? those are the legendaries. Okay. So when we first saw these, and I think this is our, we, we mentioned this in our initial reaction, they had like a couple that were like tributes and they had some of them paying tribute to the Yummy Universe back then. Mm -hmm. um, and it, the most notable one I remember was the fire one, like the fire elemental that was like the one that Stale owns. 
um, on the other yeah. side. And so we were like, uh, at that time, like Tom was, I think Tom had mentioned this the previous, we had come through a period of a lot of people like grabbing on the artwork and things from other projects that may not necessarily been their own creativity or inspired. Like it's good. One thing to pay homage. It's another thing to kind of, we were, we were like, not sure if we were like watching somebody pay homage to them or if they were like, I don't know. You guys are pretty much copying what, what this You're way too suspicious, is. especially yep. with it being connected to yummy. We are just like, yep. And, and it was like a same similar kind of game at the time. I mean, again, we didn't know anything outside of that, to, but it's great to see. And I even, I think Jack even mentioned that they went back and redid some of these, um, you know, to re redo this stuff. And then it's cool how they have tied these legendaries now to these lands with those different plots. Um, that, because that was our initial, like, I think we were like, ah, you know what, we're going to sit this one out. And now, now to see where they've come, it's like, don't always judge a book by its cover kind of thing. It's yeah, cool and to see I how they've diverged so much too, like like yummy and it. Like we were like, oh, they're both making games, both cute little things. But I mean, the both projects are going in two such big but separate directions where they can both be um, so successful and not have any competition with each other, which is really cool to see. Exactly, and one other thing I'll say because I know we're we're getting close to the end of the segment is. Um, I try to give every project a fair shot, right? And I wasn't around during the whole yummy Mikasi thing. I heard about that a lot. So mm -hmm. I guess I didn't have that barrier when I researched the project because I had already, I guess, passed and I was just coming in with a clean slate. One other thing I do like about the Mikasi team is one, they are professional. Two, they do have game building experience on their team. Uh, they have developers. And one of the things I really do enjoy about Mikasi, and I, did, I put a tweet out about that is, they understand marketing, right? And if any yeah. game is going to be successful, you got to have good marketing. Right? Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. If you went to any of the Cardano tool sites leading up to their lands, they had banners there. They were marketing. They were doing um, they were doing partnerships with different projects. If you go to uh, Pavia right now, you're just going to completely see a ton of Makasi, um, you know, of the the estate plots. They work with the community to use the community to help with their marketing. Yeah. The other thing that I liked about, that I asked a lot about in the AMA, I said, hey, you're going for mainstream. You're going to have to reach outside of the Cardano community to really go mainstream. Right. One of the things I really do enjoy is they do have crossover with the Axie Infinity community. Uh, so yeah, there are some of the okay. assets right there that they were looking at as far as rendering and shading uh, for some of the lands. But, you know, I mean, they already have a large cross-section of, play to earn wow. players in crypto with, you know, Axie Infinity. I mean, all it takes is a couple of YouTube ads to those who are covering Axie Infinity. You already have, you know, a base of players that you can easily tap into. Uh, so I do like the fact that they are unique. They do, they do share some similarities with uh, Axie but they do have that community, right? That they can market to, that they can tap into. Cool. So we could see something where, and this is just me speculating, we could see something where, you know, Mikasi could bring in a new section or subsection of users into Cardano because they have the ability to reach to uh, that Axie Infinity crowd. And they quite frankly have the budget and the capability to do really nice marketing to bring people in. Much like Ape Society did, I think with Solana and some other blockchains, right? They kind of brought yeah. some people into the Cardano community. And that's something as well that I really look for for in projects, right? Do they have the ability to bring in people beyond our, our little ecosystem? Well, that, that's the big benefit, right? It's like, it's great. You know, we're, we're all in Cardano. We know like we're early over here and we, we believe in this blockchain and the projects that are on it, but in order to, we need other people. We can't just be living in our little bubble and expecting everybody just to find their way over here naturally, right? You got to You got to reach out. You got to get some people in here. Um, so what better way to have a good project with great artwork, a good team behind them, and then go spread the word and let those people bring them, introduce them because they have way bigger ties, like you said, to some of these other projects that have done the same. You know, we all know ETH has a bunch of money that's out there waiting to be spent. Um, and then, you know, some people are getting frustrated with some of the fees and other things out there. And what better way to invest on a, a project that's really just getting started out there, you know? And some of these, actually Infinity, those, those took almost four years for them to get really mainstream the way they did last year. Um, so, you know, we're in year one right now, this stuff, which is crazy. It's crazy to think. Yeah. That is a big benchmark, though, for a project is, is this good enough to bring other people in from other communities? Like, is exactly. will people buy Cardano to jump in this? And with what they're showing with their actual realistic, uh, like, ability to get something like this out, it's the biggest thing. Like you said, their team, just looking at their team and seeing how large it is, um, 
is one thing that's encouraging. You know, the amount of people that they have the right people for the right jobs are not trying to do everything themselves. I know it's one to bring up recently was was the gizmos where it was like two people and they just didn't have the money or manpower um, or ability to get it all done just with the two of them. That's understandable, but it kind of then over promised to their community and it didn't work out uh, when everyone bought in because they had good looking art. Um, and, and this is one where you see it and you see so many people that have said they're going to come out with a game. It's always kind of like, what is the, the realistic, you know, is that going to actually happen someday? And, and with this, this is why we've gotten so excited about it because we're like, this definitely has one of the bigger shots, like a real shot in the space. I like that. That's what got me excited for sure. We started seeing it with Jack. Yeah, I like how you said they have a shot because, you know, nothing's guaranteed, right? Like nothing in yeah. this is guaranteed. I mean, but there's another thing here. This encyclopedia is also fully functional. So you can mm -hmm. click on any Gen 1, uh, like you can see their partners, all the partners they made it with. You can see all of their children, right? You can see how many times they've been bred. And the more you breed, the higher level you start within the game. Okay. There is some incentive, right, to... Uh, to breed your your etos, and the last thing I'll say about this um, is, etos are just one species on the Makasi planet. Um, they are actually planning to, through another mechanism in the game, to have another species to come forward in the game, which will keep it new, to keep it interesting, to keep it fresh. Because if we are looking to go mainstream, right, even thirty thousand is nothing. Etos, that's not yeah. gonna be enough. You know, that's that's not going to be enough. So they already have plans in place to address you know, being able to meet that sort of demand, you know, as the game begins to uh, get more and more users. I have confidence that this game, that this game could do well, just because I think they do very good with marketing. Everything is congruent. They never break form, right? All of their marketing materials are, are spot on. Yeah. Uh, their tokenomics was excellent, actually. I spent a lot, me and Dirashi, we did a very deep dive into their tokenomics, and they're just really running this like a professional project. Even down to adding, you know, their token to DEXs and just understanding right. price action and all those things. And they even have a section about inflation, how they're going to deal with that, because they saw that as an I issue. Saw that. Yep. So they have really, really put a lot of time, intention, and investment into ensuring that I like to call it this ecosystem, right, will be sustainable in the future. And I think that's what we're looking for. For any, I'm looking for that for any gaming project on Cardano. You know, Clay Nation, is it going to be sustainable? Potty, right. Equine, Yummy, right? These are ecosystems, right, that have to be sustainable. Dead Pixels, all of them have to, the challenge of not only delivering a product, but delivering a sustainable ecosystem. I really like that Mikasi has put a lot of time, attention, and thought into that. Well, and the fact yeah. of looking into that stuff shows that that's a team of experience, too. They've They've either gone through those problems in the past and now know how to like, all right, we need to look out for this stuff. Trust me, we didn't know about it before some other project or something else I was involved in and it, it could destroy you. So these are things we need to keep an eye on and plan for in the future, as opposed to trying to tackle them when you just come across them because you're naive and new and to the space. It was the first time kind of it's your first rodeo. So um, it, it can really hurt you when you come across some of those problems. It's, it's good to hear that the team is, is kind of prepared and, and working towards, you know, getting ahead of problems before you even have them. Yeah. And I think uh, the last thing too, is that yeah, at the end of the day, like you said, an ecosystem is one thing you can build an ecosystem. You can release a token. You guys can get all these people involved, but what's going to keep you coming back? Like, what's the reason that you're, you know, you're interested in this thing and, and, and what's the draw to it at the end of the day, you're making a game. And is that game going to be fun? Is that going to game going to be engaging? Is there going to be a reason for me and for a people to want to play it? Because at the end of the day, that's what you know is going to make the project successful. Well, so. like fun aside, like we, we talk about all the time, like how we don't have time to really game anymore. I like the leasing act aspect of it. Like right. I can lease my land or whatever, just so I can still get the gains of someone playing what I have, and they also enjoy get to enjoy the game since I really don't have time or or want to play the game, whatever the case may be. It's just I like that also dynamic too which is a great feature that they're going to have and are, are going to have for the for the game yeah and i like the fact that they call this uh is that is it are they call mokomon is that how they how they're pronounced in the mokonomics yeah, yeah mokomon are just any species on makasi planet so itos are a mokomon but there's okay. like other species that's on that I, li I like that name i like for yeah, running with name, the mon the little monsters I, I love that uh that theme over there well um, David, I know we could probably jump into this probably for another hour with you to uh, get going. So um, we, we appreciate you just giving us like that starter introduction and then kind of seeing like your passion 
um, and reason that you guys are, are excited for the project. So that's one of these <laughs> reasons. Cool. I, I was trying to snipe that. while you were just talking. I was just I, looking, mean, I was looking at some too, DJ. I was looking at the landfall. I was trying to snipe. I've, uh, we've been doing a couple of flips lately, so I'm like, I've got a little extra. I've been, yeah, I've been watching the land good. since they, since they minted. Um, but I have so much trouble with that because you look at some of the floor ones and it's like I can grab one of these floor ones. And then I started finding some of like the little extra traits that I really like. And then I'm like all of a sudden spending like, you know, 1200 data. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's, there's a limited amount of land. So even floor ones or whatever is going to be fine. Right. Like not everyone is going to have land. So what seems like a floor now could be very valuable in the future. So. Right. Oh, easily. It's just easy to get yeah. like they it's not it's not as simple as a square plot and then where is it on like a map you know there's so much more that goes into them now that i actually have to kind of like it's not just like i don't care i just wanted to get one on the floor like like maybe like a pobby or something there's a billion of them doesn't matter i didn't get the best mass bob i just want at least i have one this is like yeah this one like get a floor one and be in there and it's like yeah but this roller coaster <laughs> it's exactly. definitely it could be a deep dive into this stuff and we're, we're learning on there it's just i haven't made the official entry in it and i know these guys yet haven't officially yet because there is so much to consider like tom was just saying so um well david we appreciate you jumping in tonight man it's been an honor yeah, just to you gotta come you back on. for the full thing for sure yeah, of course. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. it's been important to know too man we were always i was always a fan of, of yours and what you guys were doing prior to you know us ever really jumping on there i think your profile pic has always been very recognizable in the space <laughs> uh the ate it all that, yep. that you've had out there so um it's been an honor to host you on man and thank you for jumping on tonight yeah thank you guys for having me and uh best of luck with uh entering the project if you need any help uh let me know Absolutely, yeah, we'll do. We'll make sure to check it out. So the best place for any Mikasi news, obviously, you can check the websites. They have that uh, that actually newsletter um, that they, yeah. they they keep updated, but also the Discord. I'm assuming too, right? Yeah, both great places. Awesome, awesome. Well, appreciate it, David. This has been another uh, community spotlight. We did it, Mikasi. Um, you know, guys, don't hate us anymore. If you, if you, <laughs> if we're covering. We we're on. It's on our radar, and we're getting there. So we appreciate everybody listening tonight. And uh, David, thank you for coming on. Yeah, thank you guys again for having me. I don't know about you guys, but I'm literally still looking at Mikasi land right now, trying to buy something. I know. I was trying to stay one on the secondary while he was while he was chatting the whole time. Oh, bro, y'all are <laughs> getting, getting crazy out of there. I was like trying to stay focused on what we got going on. I see TJ in the corner, just like, all right. Just oh, I was doing some serious sniping and research. Yeah. I put up, I pulled up tools, JPG, everything. I was trying to look up everything. Well, you pulled up the website and I started looking at the lands again. They just yeah. they look so like crazy. There's just way. And then I haven't had a chance to like, besides our little sit down with jack and then looking at the previews when they're minting um i haven't had a chance to go through like all the data of all the different rarities for some of the attributes yeah. like so i haven't seen some of these cooler ones and they get uh like you know crazy oh so well, I, I like the one with the little propeller hat i'm about to buy it he's like has a he squint in his eyes like it's listed for like a little 400 right now i definitely want to get that one i need to get on that level um yeah i still need to go ahead and try to figure it out like you said there's so many more layers to it now now knowing that there's you know all these different traits and you, know, you can breed these things and it's it's crazy but uh can we settle the debate on the ito versus ito i guess um we got we got the word from uh david over itos. there itos itos or ito we didn't say that word because he said he did hear he did say that behind the scenes is that he heard one of the founders say ito um so or if it's ito you just don't want it to be itos i think that's what it is you right, what would you say ito a cheeto what you just, at least a ito he's to say ito. Yeah, he ito. said ito for sure yeah he definitely yeah. said ito um well makasi we talked about it we got yummy and makasi in the same episode um and that's a perfect segue to wrap it up over on the back end guys wrapping it up on the back end guys we have a, i don't know if it's a shorter episode i mean it's probably a shorter episode than normal definitely shorter than last week i think it's still gonna be two hours it could probably we never, little, maybe a little less i don't know just, we can never shut the fuck up dude we always gotta keep talking um, <laughs> <laughs> um no, we're probably gonna go do like you know we'll do Aaron show after this then we'll probably do like another live stream 45 minutes and then you know we'll be, yeah you know, we got like seeing it to you live or something possibly Hey guys, oh, yeah, oh, exactly. we never mentioned that CNT Live might be next week. Um, you know hasn't been saying that? It's like our Discord. Let's guys, just stop talking about it. It's going to happen eventually. We're going to start a box of chocolates. You never know. <laughs> yeah. Games. Next week we're gaming. We're doing all kinds of fun stuff. Uh, Is that going to be a live stream gaming or are we just game with them? I, how do we get all three of our games in one screen? That's the real question. That's going to be a problem. I don't think that's going to happen. No. Uh, no, no, we would just go on Streamlabs and set. Um, like we'd we'd have to play stream on Discord or something. We'd, we'd have to play like 
fall guys or something that has like the whole game of all of us anyway in there already well if you wanted you can, three separate windows i don't know how you would do that because otherwise you would like you said you'd have to stream you could screen share your screen on discord and then we could all just box. i don't know we built yeah, we could probably figure this out off episode yeah i'll just say this isn't the topic you guys uh, we'll probably figure it off after if you split, just this one up you know episode 30 here is another good one so uh you know i know i can't i'm not good at the sound effects tom you're gonna have to, to tag me i'll have to here. close it out and if you guys have just hit this timestamp right now that is perfect because we are 